<laughs> si Sus, grabe gising pa siya. <laughs> grabe, nakatulog ako ng ano, nakatulog ako ng mga 5pm yata. So, gising ako, ano na, 9pm. Oh, hindi, actually, hindi pala. Mga, mga 2pm pala ako nakatulog. Owl po ako. <laughs> Uy, sas na, ano, naiyak ako dun sa post mo. Yung, yung Indian family. Yung Star Wars. Hi, hi, Richard Gonzalez. Ayan. Na-disconnect si Sas. Maya, maya, papasok yun ulit. Hi, pass you. Hi, Cyrus. Kumusta ang school? Ayan. Second time around. Hi, Mimi Lia. Kagigising mo lang. Hindi, kanina pa ako nagising mga 10. <laughs> Hindi na ako makatulog. Kasi ang haba masyado ng tulog ko. Ayan, si Sayuri. Yung ano, may, may post ka na ano, Sayuri. Ayan, si Joey. Hi, hi, Cyrus. Hi, yung, Cyrus. Wag, wag niyong ipilit yung... Wag, wag mong ip... Wait, ano, para mag-meet sila ng commercial sa sa India. Mag-meet sila for the first time after a long while nung family niya. Ganon. And, and those are very real family situation naman talaga. Yes, na, of course. Di ba? It's very real. So parang hindi mo talaga mafo-force yung ano. Hindi mo mafo-force na they are just going to accept you. Parang everything is going to change in a snap. Because it's really a process. You let them, ano, you give them time. You know, it's part of being respectful. You give the person time and space. And being an adult. And being an adult. Yeah, yeah. oo. You give them time and space para i-process yung mga changes that they are not comfortable, di ba? So, eh, ganun naman talaga eh. Ganun ang relationship eh. It's never-ending patience, understanding, MMM eh. And you give all the tools and spaces for them to understand and accept. Ganun yung pagmamahal, di ba? Yung pipilitin ang, mo na... Ang ganda na pagkakasabi mo dun eh. Ganun yung pagmamahal. <laughs> di ba? Ganun yung pagmamahal. Hindi yung mas... Yung ano, yung... Eh, ako yung hindi ba? ako pa... Hindi ako mabibli ang tao. Hindi naman ako parang ano. Hindi naman ako religious and everything. Pero di ba, kaya nga sinasabi, love is patient and kind eh. Di ba? Love is patient. Kaya nga that's the problem with the movement right now. The hindi patient, younger, hindi kind. Younger, younger people, especially yung mga... Even, I think, kakatapos pala lang high school, they're leading the way. And it's uh -oh. becoming... It, it, you, if you're gonna look at it, you know, objectively, mm -mm. as an adult, na parang, why, parang, nagiging bratty yung, uh -oh. di ba, kita mo yung, kita mo yung, ano, yung similarity between kakamping, saka, di ba, nagigita mo yung kakamping, sa ang babata ng mga, oo, oh -oh. ang babata ng mga, na, 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 nangunguna, pero pagtingin mo naman dito sa, ah, uh, Thing. Kita mo ikaw, you're already like, because you're already, ano, <laughs> beyond the years. Beyond the years. <laughs> ikaw magkaedad tayo. <laughs> <laughs> Di ba, nagigets, nagigets nyo ba na if you let, um, like, younger people, especially yung mga kakatapos pa lang ng high school or mm -hmm. they're still their early years in college, mm -hmm. leading, ikaw ba, Pat, yung ilang taong ka na pa? Uh, 29. 29. Don't you notice it? Like, let's just be honest. Iba tayo when we were that age. You know? <laughs> Totoo. Gusto talaga natin at that age, gusto ko nang tumanda. Gusto ko na nang, alam mo yun, you, you, want every, you want to rush everything. Na parang nagmamadali ka every time. Tapos ngayon namang matanda na tayo na parang wait na ha, pwede pa hindi na 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 hindi na
<laughs> we want to picture, you know, the world as all like rainbows and butterflies and yung we can we want to show the world how capable we are until masampal tayo ng reality. And now, reality is so. Hindi pa ka na isipin mo na lang, bakit ba ako nagmamadali? Hindi ba? Hindi hindi ako nagmamadali. Ano bang meron dito? Ano bang meron dito? Wala naman palang meron dito. <laughs> diba? <laughs> Do you have it as well, Joey? I mean, me and Joey, especially when we were. Ito kasi si Patty, patapos pa lang siya ng 20s. Yeah, even even we're in our 20s, diba? ang dami nating gustong patunayan kagad. Na para, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to other. Tapos pagdating natin ng 30s, sa parang, bakit? So, ngayon, why are you in a such a hurry? Ito, ito pa. So, ngayon, umiinom ka pa ng beer. Pag tungtong mo ng 30, magiging wine na yan. <laughs> mga, isulit mo na ang mga last few years mo ng pag-inom ng mga card. Magiging wine na yan. Kasi magiging you don't wine. want, you want to savor every moment. So, you don't want like beer na... <laughs> Di ba? Di ba, Joey? Naklak-lak. Pag 20s kasi gusto mo talaga paramihan ng ano ng bote, di ba? Na... Wine and cheese. Ayun, gusto ko yan. Charcuterie board. <laughs> di, pero to be, ito oh, to be honest. Kailangan wine na. and fruits actually. Wine and fresh Dalang fruits. Na, relate ako uh, dyan eh. Um, minsan and nainis and ako sa mga bata na may gustong patunayan. Pero... <laughs> Uy, pangi. <laughs> Pero alam mo yun, I cannot help but relate. Kasi minsan itong mga bata to, may mga gusto sila patunay. Especially with kids that have strained family relations. Mm-hmm. Meron silang gusto patina, patunay na, oh ito, I'm not gonna be this guy na, this kid na pinalaki nyo, inaping nyo, pinigmata pobrehan nyo. May, may ganun eh. In, in my case, medyo, medyo in my case and Then, akakarelate ako doon sa mga batang yan. But, diba, on the other actually, side... Lahat naman tayo dumaan sa ganun eh. Na, na we want to be... Na, I think we all... We, we were all at that stage that we felt that we knew better than our parents. Yes. yes diba? Especially, especially when you're a teenager. Mm. Hello, ha? Huwag na tayo magpaka-ipocrita dito. When we were all teenagers, yes. we thought... We knew better than our parents or 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 any authority figures in our lives, hmm. teachers, um, principals, or what? We wanted space. We wanted space from our parents. Yeah. We wanted, we wanted to be recognized. We wanted to have our voices heard. Na minsan ang feeling natin sa mga authority figures pa kaya lamero. True, true. Mm-hmm. Well, in some sense, talaga may mga pa kaya lamero talaga yes. authority. Pero, pero kasi when you, when you grow older you would realize na buti na lang pinakilaman ako oh, oh. <laughs> totoo, totoo actually uh, siguro uh, ano, talagang time will really is the great teacher then kasi hindi mo hmm. ma-realize yan hanggat, ano kayo, hanggat bata ka mapusok ka tapos yun ngayon parang gigil na gigil ka na feeling mo meron kang gustong patunayan and then yung mga harsh na na pagpipigil sa'yo at pakikialam sa'yo ng magulang, you wouldn't realize that, oh, kasi parang pag bata ka, hindi mo feel na hindi mo pa alam yung shape ng love. Hindi mo pa alam mm. yung ano, sa so parang ang feeling nila, pag sinabi ng, pag sinabi ng kinontra sila ng magulang, nila pinagbawali, eh, hindi nyo na ako mahal, eme, eme. Because they do not mm. understand the, the the risk involved. And, um... Mm. No, kasi na, alam mo, as... As kids, kasi we only know love um, in in a very limited sense. We only lo- know love, for example. Ay pinapakain ako. Ay ay alam mo yun yung pamper. Yung the more we are pampered when we were younger, the more that we feel that we are loved. I mean, ninyo yano kayo ko marker, di ba? I mean, ninyo na the more na binibigay yes. ng gusto natin, the more na binibigay ng gusto natin, the more that we feel love. And yes. then, kung nag-resist yung parents, napifeel natin na, ay, hindi na ako mahal. Hindi na ako. May, may ganun, yes. And, but as we grow into adults, may dalawang, uh, there are two ways that we grow. We realize na either tama yung parents natin or we realize na mali sila. 
hindi naman sa lahat yeah. na larangan. Like, in my case, my parents are hardcore, hardcore yellows. Uh, yung pagpipigil nila sa akin, yun pa yung nag-motivate sa akin maging supporter na admi- of this administration. Or, mas nag sa akin mag-isip, reach out. And dito ko kayo nakilala. Dito sa, uh, in this, in this sense. Meron naman times na tama sila. Um, well, yung fears na, na, pa, na politicking, it also has led to me na my parents are hardcore, sabi natin yan, no? hardcore Catholics. And me, I'm a hardcore anti-Catholic. Hindi <laughs> naman anti, pero, pero yun nga, it's, um, it's made me realize na there's much more out there if you explore. But then again, syempre, yung core principles ng, na binigay sa atin ng magulang natin about pakipagkapwa-tao, yan, natutunan ko sa father ko. Sa mother ko naman, natutunan ko is yung work ethic. So, like it or not, meron at meron tayong mapupulot na aral mula sa magulang natin. Either meron tama talaga. sila or mali sila. Oo. Alam mo, the problem right now, especially like for example, um, LGBT issue, I, I don't know if you, um, kasi it's Pride March naman, no? it's relevant topic mm-hmm. to talk about. I don't know if you read my post, um, Joey, about na, ayaw kong gagamitin yung salitang trans when it comes to kids. Actually, even gay or blessed, yeah. How would you know that a gay kid wa- a, a, a kid wants to suck dick or lick pussy? Uh-uh. Do, do, do you get it? How would you know that? You wouldn't, you know, par nakakapag-cringe pa nga, di ba? If, if you're gonna look at kids na maniligaw ng bata, no? Na parang, uh-huh. parang, hoy, na parang, or kakaring-karing yung, yung anak mong five years old sa mga lalaki. That's, that's, ano, it's, it's just too much. Ang nangyayari kasi na, ang nangyayari kasi ngayon, the, the adults are too scared, especially within the movement, na, too scared to speak, na, oy, wait lang, na, anything that's not affirmative, <laughs> kahit, kahit yung, ano man lang ba, yung, yung meaning, kahit man lang yung um, reasonable pushback would be seen like, ah, you're being homophobic, ah, you're being transphobic, ah, you're being this, you're being... Oo, oh, na parang bigot ka na. Parang, hindi mo pwede magtanong muna. Kasi na, hello, this, no? Maybe, maybe there is an issue here. Hmm. Maybe that's not your issue. Maybe you're leading in a, in a, in a different way. Na parang, uh-huh. kasi before, you know, the movement was only about, huwag yun naman bubugin yung anak niyo. Uh-oh. Or, huwag nyo namang ibuli sa school. Huwag nyo namang bubuli. Ngayon naman, iba na, i-affirm, affirm, wait na. <laughs> mm-hmm. Parang ano eh. Uh, Oo, oh, dati problema lang be... natin eh. Yung ano, di ba? Yung parang sana hindi magawa, maagawa ng baon yung anak ko sa school. <laughs> ah, ganun. Or hindi mabubuli ng bully sa school. Huwag nyo namang, namang ibuli. Huwag nyo namang, huwag nyo namang tanggalin sa school. Huwag nyo namang, Pero ngayon, girl, pati toga, kailangan gender affirming. Oh, I can't oh. believe. Hindi <laughs> ba ano yun yung purpose ng toga? You focus on the academic achievement. Walang gender, yung yung gender doon doesn't come into play. Come earn. Diba? Parang, pagkatas kailangan, ano, affirmative ang, ano, gender affirmative ang toga. Nakakalo. Post yun ni Tio, nakita ko kay Tio sa Siliman University. Diba? Parang, Ang ang ka ano to anong kagaguhan to just ni May magandang comment si Richard dito eh. Sabi niya, uh, yung pressure daw sa kids today is actually um malala din. Kasi uh, mas malala ang pressure ng generation ngayon dahil sa digital age. Nakakahanap yes. sila kakampi sa social media dahil lang nakaka-relate sila. Kaya akala nila tama sila. And this is true ha, this is true. Um, That's very correct. Mm-hmm. Ang problema kasi, remember, during our time, especially, especially sa ating dalawa, Joey, baka si Pat, hindi makarelate na. <laughs> <laughs> if, we have problems, if we have problems with our parents, the next thing that we do is to actually talk to the other adults in the household. Mm-hmm. You go to your aunt, if you're close to your aunt, your grandparents especially, di ba? Lalo yes. na mga grandparents. Mga grandparents, mga consintidorian eh. So, mm. mga grandparents, or you talk to your teachers at school. 
or if if that's possible hindi yan you actually talk to your close friends meaning your close friends yung mga talagang kasama mo mga kaibigan mo in your everyday lives and then and then kasi sila kilala ka talaga nila bilang tao so they would know na oy masyado kang dramatic <laughs> pwede kang mabam, pwede kang maano, ma, alam mo yung pwede kang magkaroon ng meaningful pushbacks from the people yes. who know you in your everyday life. That, Pero ngayon that, kasi... That will not be taken as, uh, that, that will not be necessarily taken as parang, oh, nang bubuli or nang uh, ano ka lang, nang yung ganon. Kung baga, kasi alam mo, this kind of people would come from a good place kapag ka meron sinabi sa'yo na, hindi mo magugustuhan, di ba? Ganon. Ano nila yan? Kilala mo rin sila. Kilala mo sila. Pero ngayon, kids, I think, I think they are relying less on their um, um, system of support na, na talagang it, they're in their everyday lives. And, and I think nagiging impatient sila na eh kasi nga naman, kung pwede mo na, pwede, pwede ka nga man naman magkaroon ng Facebook post, no? Or Twitter post in order to bully. <laughs> bully your, your teacher. Di ba kahit nga yung, ano ba, di ba yung issue yung pinapalo ng teacher? Pinapalo ba ng teacher yung nasabihan lang na hindi maganda ng teacher? Sinante? Yung pinatulfo, remember? Ay, oo, oh, oh, oo. Oh, oh. Tapos gusto ni ng tulfo na pag-resignin yung teacher. Di ba, in our generation, that, that was just like common. Correct, correct. Na, na ano, ano, uh, meron akong teacher nung high school. Meron akong teacher nung high school. Ano talaga, old school talaga siya. N- nung teacher ko siya, majonda na siya. So, ang tawag dito, n- namamalo talaga siya ng stick. Namamalo siya ng stick. Pag ako nuwari, meron siyang lesson, uh, teach- teacher namin siya sa algebra. Pag meron siyang lesson, let's say last week, Pagkatapos this this week nagpa nagpa quiz siya. Pagkatapos sobrang kuno sobrang baba ng grades mo or ganyan ganyan. Pagkatapos ang ingay-ingay mo. Bib. Ayun, ang ang ingay-ingay mo or ang ano-ano mo. Ganun namamalo siya ng meter stick. Tapos nangungurot siya sa singit, ganun. Nangungurot siya sa singit. Ito kasi teacher na to, wala siyang asawa. Ah, sorry, wala siyang anak, pero siyang asawa, wala siyang anak. Buong buhay niya, alam mo yung very early talaga siya sa, sa school, yung talagang 6am pa lang nasa school na siya. Pagkatapos, uh, uuwi siya ng very late kasi magpe-prepare siya ng lesson kanya and everything. Makita mo talaga sa kanya yung passion sa pagtuturo, ganon. Nangungurot siya, nag-ano siya, pero yung kurot niya, yung hindi siya ano, it's really more of parang stage na yung hindi naman talaga masakit, alam mo yon Pero papakita niya talaga na, Ha? Yung, ma- yung, ma- yung marami yung kukuning balat, hindi yung, yung, hindi yung ano, hindi oh, yung sakbo. Hindi talaga para manakit, hindi talaga yung para manakit. So parang, ang tawag dito, so ngayon pag mangu- mangungurot siya, yung ganun, yung parang, I think, well, ang purpose niya, uh, I-, I-, I think, more than manakit ng studyante, ang purpose niya talaga is to embarrass yung studyante for being lazy, for be- for not doing their homework, mga ganong etos, or yung bad behavior sa class, ganun. Yung teacher na yon naging close ko yon naging close ko yon Tapos ano, ang tawag dito, uh, pero lagi akong kinukurot noon. Kasi nga, ang daldaldaldab ko sa class. <laughs> lagi ako kinukurot, ganun ganon Alam mo nung ano, nung few y- kasi yung mga teachers, 65 yung mandatory nila na retirement eh. So parang several years ago, ano, 63 yata siya or 62, siya, a- ako, feeling ko talaga kasi wala mo siya ibang gagawin sa buhay niya kundi magturo eh. Alam mo na force siya na mag-retire kasi merong nag-complain sa kanya dahil nangungurot daw siya. Ganon. Tapos parang sa akin parang putang ina nito mga parents na to. How many students were successful because of the love and support and dedication that this teacher give uh, had given to young students like myself? Pagkatapos, offended feelings nila na nakurot. I mean, ibig ko sabihin, parang, ga, ganun, ba, ganun ba dapat mag-assess? Eh, kasi yung anak daw nila, parang na saktan yung damdamin and everything. As a parent, parang, 40 plus years in service, yung teacher. Pagkatapos ngayon, gusto mong wasakin yung career ng teacher just because because of your kids, ano, emotional damage. ba diba? 
hindi ko din i-demean yung ano, i-address natin yung feelings ng bata. But we have to tell doon sa bata na yun, the entire story. ba diba? Na parang, oh, yung teacher na yun, o oh, hindi mo gusto. Sige, sige, sabihin natin kay ma'am. Ma'am kasi naman, huwag nyo na akong kinukurot, ganyan-ganyan. Ang tawag dito, uh... kasi sinabi ko rin sa teacher ko na yun, eh, nung estudyante ako, sabi ko sa kanya, ma'am, huwag nyo na kasi ako kinukurot. Sabi ko, Gano? ginagawa ko naman yung assignment ko eh, oo, oh, oh. ganon. Eh, doon nga ako kinukurot kasi intrimitida ako. Ganon. Hindi, alam so, mo, Joey. Ay, ay, sige, go. Finish your story first. Oo. So ngayon, parang ang feeling ko, yun nga, no, yung parang nakafocus, ginagawa nilang ano, no, guiding light, yung feelings ng anak nila in order to change the world. ba? Diba? Not taking into consideration yung contribution nitong teacher na to sa lipunan natin. ba? Diba? Na parang, puta, eto, nakapagbayad na sa katerbang tax to. Nagtrabaho to ng bonggam-bongga. Tinulungan na nito marating ng mga, yung mga kabataan sa kanilang mga dreams and everything. Pagkatapos, feelings ng anak mo, gusto mo ipakulong yung teacher because of that. Pagkatapos, it wasn't really even ano ha. Yung kasi known kasi talaga siya na ganun eh. And at the same time, known rin siya na magiliw sa mga estudyante. So, ibig sabihin, ganun siya. Pero at the same time, na- nakakaibigan niya lahat ng mga, marami siyang kay- estudyante kaibigan niya. And everything, ganyan. Kaso nga lang, it went really, really bad na parang in na lang sa kanya dahil gigil na gigil nga yung ano, gigil na gigil nga yung, yung family ng estudyante. Na parang, sige mag early retirement ka na lang. Ang sa akin parang sobrang tragic noon kasi this teacher, this teacher that I am talking about, siya yung tipo ng taong walang ibang ginawa sa buhay niya kundi magturo. Ganon. Tapos ano, ano mas impo- ano mas importante sa buhay natin, 'di ba? Blatant disregard kasi yung doon sa effort ng tao eh na may real contribution sa society. Tapos yung anak mo wala pang contribution sa society, feelings niya gusto mo baguhin natin ang mundo dahil sa kanya, 'di ba? Yeah. Ano siya eh. I go back you. Sorry, uh, the problem with the, the parents of this current generation is that they're focusing too much on protecting the child, but sometimes they forget to protect the world from the child. Na minsan nagiging menace because you're giving the child everything they want. And I've seen so many examples of this. They're, they're, they just want to protect their child. Minsan, ah, wag mo lang ako guluhin mo. Wala, kaya whatever. And that's that's really the problem. And at the na rin ako story about yun. Te, hindi naman terror prof, but eh, this prof na malakas man trash talk. Accounting, accounting prof ko sa UST. Nun. Si Ma'am Olan, uh, rest in peace. Uh, she's, already, she's already gone. But meron kami kaklase nun na talagang consistent. Top, talagang top scorer sa accounting. May one time nagkamali yun. So talagang syempre, binigyan niya ng failing mark. Yung sa isang quiz, yung kaklase namin yun. And she told us, itong bata to, magaling. Pero, kailangan, matuto siya maging resilient kapag dadapa. And yung pagkadapa na yun is yung failing mark na yun. And you know, she's one of the profs that really gave us really good life lessons. Sa UST to eh. Nag-retire siya but shortly succumbed to lung cancer a few years after her retirement. But, grabe, grabe itong yung mga terror prof, yun yung ma- maaalala mo, yun yung maraming life lesson. Then as you ang grow silly, you will ang understand. Ang silly nung ano eh no, ang silly nung parang um hindi malika ginawa you, you know, mm-hmm. lagi kong sinasabi yung yung reckless abandon na attitude ng mga bata. Yung pag yeah. mm-hmm. feeling nila nagkamali so therefore dapat eh tanggali na yan or something like that. So, so, hindi ko na bumura, ito it, itong ba na yan presidente na yan yung mga ganon. Nagwa kasi ng ano ng I don't know, maybe these are adults who have unresolved tra- um, childhood and adolescent issues and now they are project and then they would like to, pro- because they haven't resolved it, they are projecting it to the younger kids and adolescents that oh, baka pagbaguhin nila yon, it, they, it would make them feel better about their own childhood and adolescence. Like for example, alam mo yon, na parang, uh-huh. come on. Hello, if you're already like an adult, you should already be able to process of of why you had to go through those challenges, no? Like, like for example, um, last year, meron kami nagkaroon ng parang mini reunion ng mga kabatch ko ng high school. So I met, yung mga, may mga umaten na mga teachers namin before. 
Tapos siya mayroon doon ako. Tapos hindi na ako nakikilala. Ha? Hanggang hanggang tinawag ko na sila, Hi, Miss Barcelona. Hi, Miss Ganyan. Sabi niya, tapos tinitingnan nila ako ganyan. Sabi niya, Oh my God! Sasama na ka na namin. Ano? Kala namin, isa sa mga misis, sa mga sudyante. Kaya, tapos nag-uusap, nag-uusap kami. Na parang, pinag-uusapan namin yung situation ngayon ng mga students. And ano, sabi, tapos, tapos, ano, sabi niya, well, alam na naman talaga namin, matagal na magiging ganyan. Kasi ako, Oo, pero, pero, pero these are the teachers na, halimbawa, naka, naka, naka face, alam mo, naka baby powder nga na yung face. Oy, saso, bawal yan. Uh-huh. Like, Oy, bawal yan. Uh-huh. Then, they kept on doing that. Pero ngayon, parang, ang ano na lang sa akin, alam mo, we're happy for you, ganyan. And then, like, how can you like, say na, they meant that, during during their time and now they're gonna tell me you know we're happy to you tapos tapos ano tawag na ngayon ay ay misasot ganyan 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 tapos it 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 it's really a very different um gen- actually it's not the generation of children it's a generation of adults the the kasi they are enabling this eh. yes oh, they mm. are sila yung nagsasabi eh sila yung nag- Grabe, actually, sobrang nandidiri ako dun sa ano, dun sa yung mga gender reaffirming surgery, tapos minors, di ba yung, I mean, in Canada, in US, grabe yung mga disputes dyan eh, yung parang, you know what, even parents in some states, even parents cannot say or have no say whether gusto nung bata na mag-undergo ng journey, ano, gender reaffirming uh, process, Na, medically, gano'n, like gusto niyang mag-take ng mga hormones or whatsoever, gusto niyang mag-undergo ng surgery or let's say um, i- i-remove yung jaw in, to make a softer jawline, yung mga gano'n parents cannot say anything by law ha, na parang hindi sila allowed, the, the, the hospitals were mandated to go ahead and ano, proceed na uh, doon sa mga surgeries na yun, kasi raw it was never an issue before na there would be kids kasi we know that this is an adult decision. Alam mo yun, na parang no one, parang no one was like advocating for us before. Like, I don't remember any, any grand movement siguro meron ilan ilan, pero they were like really largely ignored kasi nga, you know, this is, you know, this is an adult space. And now, I, I think, I really think it's really the, um, um, frustration of some adults, you know, unresolved childhood or, you know, they're like, for example, they're like thinking, oh, maybe when, when they allowed me to transition when I was a kid, etc. Alam mo, gusto ko minsan tanongin sila na, can you seriously think that as a kid, you already know who you are when in fact your brain is not yet biologically capable of having a consistent sense of self during childhood and adolescence. And that's just a biological It's true for mm. everyone. Yeah. Everyone is like finding themselves when they reach adolescence, no? True. Even true. until even until late adulthood, you would still be finding yourself. You would discover new things about your identity. Uh, may I have two, uh, yeah, yeah. two things and you to... You do that dis- journey, you do that journey mm-hmm. guided by your wisdom as an adult. But for your wisdom, younger your experience. ones, diba? for younger ones, you, you, they don't have wisdom. How do you expect them to decide? Diba? How do you expect them to decide? Well, you know, 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 Example, kasi ano yung decision nito eh. Today, gusto nila Peppa Pig. Bukas, gusto nila Spongebob. Diba? Exactly. At tapos, ano, pag-ibig mo na na tanggalin yung... They don't have a consistent sense of self. Like, Uh-oh. they are still, you know, you cannot bring them in different situation and be able to handle those different situations with at ease. Kasi nga, they haven't yet developed that kind of um consistent sense of self. Like, Nasa id pa sila eh. Oo, oh, kasi the brain is still forming. The, the brain is still forming. Can you imagine, ha? Like, for example, ikaw, Joey. Can you imagine? Kailan ka nag-start mag, mag-regla? Anong age? 
medyo late na. Parang mga 15-16, gano'n. I think bloomer. Pero may mga, di ba, ang image ng 10 years old. Yes, or, oh or, Imagine, Mine. if a 10-year-old kid already start menstruating and then that 10-year-old kid is, uh, because because she, that kid, that she can already menstruate, she's already capable of pregnancy. Can you imagine telling the 10 year can you imagine if a 10 year old girl tells you, Mom, I, I I think I want to be a mother? Why wouldn't you affirm it? <laughs> because. Maturity. The right? maturity of the girl is already capable huh, of, the body is already capable of pregnancy because it can, it can already menstruate. Or imagine your son who started ejaculating at the age of 11, tells you, Mom, I want to impregnate already my girlfriend. Wouldn't you be shocked? You know, let's not, let's not even talk about quote-unquote trans kids telling you, I want to have a vagina. It's the same thing. You would be shocked because what the fuck are you talking about? Exactly. I think this is the um, pinakamalaking, pinakamalaking magiging problema ng mga batang to who undergo this gender affirming surgeries. Regret. Once ma-form at na talagi mag-mature sila, they have the experience. Parang ito, take mali ginawa ko. So, para solusyon dun, di ba? Ano yung strap on na lang? Wala kang solusyon. If, if you made a bad decision in your adolescence, especially if you mess if you mess with your brain, um, the 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 chemist, the biochemistry of your body, it will affect the rest of your adult life. So, it's kaya genetic na, alteration. Yeah, you, because ano eh, you you ano talaga na parang the, I think I really think a lot of adults lost their um se, uh, lost their ano senses because of kids and it shouldn't be the case you know the adults should be, be all together and not just giving in to whatever kids want is the adults or the authority figure not, not the kids the problem is these parents if they have they have unresolved childhood issues and we do not invalidate that in any way shape or form however yung adult issues nila, it should be resolved by self-reparenting, hindi transference. Naipaproject mo yung frustrations mo do sa bata na yun. So, what happens? Ibibigay ko lahat na hindi binigay sa akin ng magulang. I mean, personally, I don't want to have kids, but... Patio, ha? Yung nangyayari, patio eh. Yun yung patio nangyayari. Ibibigay ko sa lahat sa mga bata na yun. Ang hindi binigay sa akin ng society nung bata ako. I was like, I wasn't even thinking about that when I was 11. I was like thinking of, oh my God, magsana ko mabuko. Magsana ko mabuli. I want to finish my education. <laughs> that was what I was thinking during that time. <laughs> Ako iniisip ko lang mag red alert, maglaro na red alert 2. <laughs> when I was 11, yun lang ano. Gusto ko lang maglaro ng games pag uwi. Saan may bakanting computer sa computer shop? <laughs> oh, said, for me, I'll admit, my childhood was, was hellish. Hello, hello. Kasi nabubuli ako sa school. Like dating sa bahay, family problems. So, my only escape from reality was the computer. But Actually, then again, yeah, I as you gain experience, ano eh, uh, you will you will face it. You will face all those all those frustrations. You will reparent yourself. Sabi, kaya nga may pinapagawa sa therapist ko, which is the the bill of rights for your inner child. I think most parents of the current generation should do that. Okay, kasi para ka nangyari na ngayon, hindi na, ano eh, hindi na, ano eh, hindi na children's rights eh, but the rights of your inner child. <laughs> Oo. Exactly. Ah, hindi, ano, may, may ang, ang problem nga ngayon, well, sa Pilipinas, hindi, buti hindi pa nakakarating yung ganong klaseng ano, no? pero scary kasi nga, yung mga bagets ngayon are very influenced by yung yung western view ng ano oo western view ng alam mo alam mo alam mo Joey ano I will just stop you there actually it's scarier in our situation because in our country you don't need a doctor's prescription in order to get hormones 
Mm. And there Lazada is a shop. Hindi, you can buy it over the counter. Yeah. Really? So, yes. And then you can and there is a lot of black market already be even even openly being advertised on social media. At yang kaya ako natatakot kasi yang you know the 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 popularity of puberty blockers you know there might get another it might create a demand a black market demand in the philippines and it can be offered in a black market way we wouldn't be able to know you know you wouldn't maybe you wouldn't be able to know that your children are already taking it you know through the black market yeah in that sense yes talagang nakakatakot talaga mas nakakatakot totoo totoo agree agree um well anyway ang gusto kong i-share is yun nga yung parang um di ba sa US di ba sa US yung since ano nga sila since very very meron silang affirming culture sa gender gender and eh, ganun sa yung mga naging issue dun sa mga well, nasa ano tayo what is a woman na doc yun what mad walsh nga um bab- competition ng mga babae pagkatapos merong isang lalaking swimmer na suddenly wanted to be um wanted to be affirmed as a woman so nag-join siya ng ng swimming competition at sa sabi ng mga mga female swimmers na parang it's it's very very frustrating that you train so hard your entire life ganyan ganyan pagkatapos but but you know that you do not have, you do not have any chance of winning de ba Celia si Thomas sabi ni Coach Franco. Yeah. Coach Franco, oh, that is really unfair. That was really unfair. I'm, I'm, I'm talking as a transsexual woman. Ha? That's really unfair. Na, hello? Nag-decide ka mag-transition two years ago? Sasa, that, that's not yet the sad, the sad part. They are prohibiting in voicing out their concerns. Like, yun nga, yung sabihin niya na, yung sabihin niya na, Uh, parang may mali dito kasi parang po, siya, ah, bumbuhay ko, nagtetrain ako, tapos alam ko naman, hindi ako mananalo dito kahit kailan. Pero, I cannot I cannot say that to my coach, I cannot say that to my teammate. Kasi raw, pagka sinabi raw nilang ganun yon yung school na pinag-aaralan niya, well, pwedeng ma-risk yung kanyang school, ma-risk yung scholarship for being, for being, ano, no, for being um, homophobic. For, me, for being not affirmative. <laughs> for being not affirmative, ganyan, ganyan. Pagkatapos, uh, at the same time, hindi, hindi rin, ano, ang tawag dito, yung, uh, parang, i, uh, ano pa siya, yung, uh, ang, ang magiging solution ng school, siya yung pa, mag, magkakaroon ng therapy, dapat, para, da, hindi, dapat, yung isip mo, mapa, mapanakit, hateful ka, ano ka, ganyan, ganyan. Yung parang, you know, As aside from the fact na wala nang chance talaga yung 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 female swimmer na yon fairly aside from that yan eh medyo ano pa yung problem na yun eh yung fact that she lost her voice altogether di ba kasi hindi siya makapagreklamo pagkatapos siya pa ang ite-therapy siya pa ang mali kasi siya daw ang hateful di ba ano the fuck up society Hi, Coach Franco. Hello, Prof. Prof. What's up, what's up, what's up? So, ayun lang na. na it's Kaya really... Ayun lang, ayun ko nga yung akin. At mayan, ano talaga? It's, uh... Ano na, ang gulo. I, I think, gulo, I think I... what happened last... Ah, hello, Coach Franco. Yes. Hi, Sas. Um, noon, noon pa ako... Ano, low key fanboy mo sa so Twitter pa lang. So, so I'm so happy to I'm so happy to be in the same live with you. So si Joey, pero, pero, lurker lang ako, bigla akong iniyaya. <laughs> pero you know, the last the last time I was here, the last time I was here, that was election time pa. Uh-oh. Election time pa. We were talking about the election. So all of a sudden, sabi ko nga Mapapanood nga, nakalive yan si Joey. May ginagawa ko ngayon eh. Then all of a sudden, ito pala pinag-uusapan nyo. Grabe. Huwag ka magalala Pilip- Joey. Nandito, Pilip- nandito na yan sa Pilipinas. Kasi alam mo naman ang mga Pilipino gaya-gaya sa Amerika. So nandito na yan. Huwag ka magalala. So, so, so ayun, ayun nga, um, um, Joey, na parang, I, I think, um, sinulat, sa, isa ko nga po, sinulat ko na, I think naman, every, every, everyone would agree na If there are gender non-conforming kids, huwag niyo namang i-bully. Huwag niyo namang 
wag wag niyo namang ipagkaita ng education. Wag niyo namang wag niyo namang wag wag niyo namang i-disown as parents. Wag niyo namang pupugin or etc. Pero that's not the same way as oh, pag meron ganyan, you have to affirm. Wait lang. <laughs> Especially when it comes to trans. And and ako kasi wala akong takot magsalita regarding this, no? Because I don't I don't I don't have, ano, I don't have my life to face on, you know, being, being trans person or being a trans icon or, or, or whatever. Because I know, based upon studies, that there are mental health issues that actually mimics um, the medical condition, transsexualism. And it is actually a documented fact. Kaya nga dapat, ano eh, ako nga parang pag may ganyan, pag meron, Ako talaga, I would advise parents if their kids are starting, like for example, saying, "Oh, ma, I think I'm, 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 ano, I identify as boy. I wanna, I wanna do this." I think that the best thing to do there is to send the kid to a therapist, because there might be issues there that look are causing the kid. Parang ganon. Ha? There might be schism. Look, with... look at it medically. Kung baga, i approach nila. Yes. Wag politically. Don't, ako talaga, you know, you know, parents forget about these trans activists, no? They're, they're not, they're just gonna harm you and your kids and and it's just gonna affect the real job of therapies in order to explore the mental scape of, 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 of these kids. Because you might, you might, you might not know that the kids might, might be experiencing other issues. And then you might be, you might be treating a disorder. You might be treating a disorder through another medical condition and that would fuck up the kid in you know all, all throughout that kid's life maybe there's an underlying root cause like the kid was being bullied and they are using this this the uh the sexualism as an escape yeah hmm. or maybe the kid is just playing i'm a superman i'm i'm mm-hmm. i don't know the kid is just being a kid. Exactly. Na parang, ano bang, what, what is your ano? Na parang, kasi the, the problem kasi right now is that um, the current breed of, of trans activists, parang, they just, they just want to throw away medical science out of the window. Pero at the same time, they would like to seek this medical treatment. Na parang you cannot do that. You know, if you would like to seek, seek medical treatment, there must be a medical protocol. Hindi dahil na nag-diagnose mo yung sarili mo, eh, bibigay na medical treatment for that. Kasi ganun yung nangyayari ngayon, especially in, especially in the United States. Self-identity is enough. And the therapist has to affirm Oh. Instead of to diagnose, <laughs> that's different, oh. huh? May stigma kasi sa medical approach, same sa mental health illness. Sabi ni Miss Merida Monson. Actually, yeah, I think yun yung gusto nilang escape eh. Yun yung gusto nilang escape, yung parang hindi ma-stigmatize. While I can understand that, it is not right. Kasi dapat ang baguhin mo, yung perception ng public that there is nothing wrong in mental With health. With this medical condition. Oo, with having medical conditions. Parang tingin ko, kung mag, 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 magiging activist ka on this issue, yung activism, mas magandang dalin doon sa pagbago ng perception that there's nothing wrong if you have mental pro- mental mental health issues, if you have problems, if you seek therapy, ganyan-ganyan. There's nothing wrong with it. Yun yung dapat natin inormalize. Yun doon mo dapat dalin yung activism, activism mo. Joey, Joey, ganun na before. That was already the status before. Yeah. Na, um, y- ano, tagalin yung stigma about, about the mental. Yeah, and, and then we're some. We're making strides on it, di ba? We're making strides. Pero talaga, kasi nga, the, the purpose nun is to make people aware na meron talaga ganitong medical condition and this is how we diagnose it. There's an expert, etc. And then, I can't wait I, kasi eh. They can't wait. Exactly. And if you cannot wait, it might be a symptom of a dip of a mental health disorder. Kasi nga... Diba nga yung... Go ahead, sir. Well, 
why would why wouldn't you wait? You know that you have this medical condition. There is a protocol. There are stages. Why pwede mo bang i-rush ang treatment ng isang medical condition? Actually, sa diagnosis pala, para, pwede mo ba i-rush yung RT-PCR? Just like, pwede mo ba i-rush yung RT-PCR? No. no. You have to wait. Na parang, my God, can you imagine if you... Ganun na nga, naging ano na nga siya eh. It has become um, a joke. Like, like for example, yung the current trans activist the new trans activist right now um, doesn't have any meaningful challenge to do, doon sa mga transracial, trans age, trans species, trans whatever. Eh kasi mga identity ano, nila yung identity mga, nila yun. Oo, oh, 'di ba yung atawag dito yung mga yung mga bulimic at saka yung mga merong anorexia, but din nila tinatawag na trans obese, 'di ba? <laughs> Pwede na tinatawag na so, trans obese. Hindi ayun. Pwede ka ayun lang. Ang dami ang dami ng ang daming ano, hindi ka na ticket na challenge it kasi eh ikaw ang basihan mo pag nag-identify yung isang tao, dapat i-affirm mo. O di dapat i-affirm mo rin na yung 50 years old at eh, 2 years old talaga. Eh identity eh, self identification lang pa. So it, it has become kita mo wala silang masagot kasi I've been watching sa United States. Wala silang masagot sa mga ganun. Kasi nga, it has become a, a movement of lunis, no? Na parang, Lunacy. ha, bakit ay, so, bakit lunacy. identity lang ang kasagot? At alam mo pa, merong borderline personality disorder? Merong multiple ay, multiple personality disorder? Ano, i-affirm ko lahat ng identity ng my person? May, may narcissism. And are you gonna affirm? Narcissism? Ay, naglag na si Coach no. Franco. Coach Franco, ay, salam sa dalaw. Nawala na siya. Ayan. So, paano yun, Bisas, pag sinabi kong I identify as Zohan Devere? Yung well, sa movie. Well, according, according, according to the current trans activism, it has to be affirmed because you self-identify as such. That, that's the problem, no? It has never been the case before. Kasi pag ikaw, na pag punta ka ng therapist, tatanungin ka ng therapist, why are you here? If you're gonna say, oh, because I feel like a woman, tatanungin ka, okay, what does that feeling like? Aanihin ka talaga. You you would be. It, it's it's impossible to 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 cut um to cut short the system. You know, kasi nga papa. Yeah, ano ko talaga na babampuhin ka? Hindi walang affirmation. It's ang tawag sa ginagawa sa therapy is exploration. That's those are two different things. Yes. And. The goal of therapy is not to affirm whatever the affirm fuck you whatever. feel. But the goal of therapy is to raise awareness. Why are you feeling this? Why are you having these problems? Why to sort your issues, diba? To, to sort, sort your right? issues. Oh, oh. Yeah. Hmm. Sabi dito ni, ano, ni House of Senator, it minimizes the people who suffer from real medical cognition. That's correct. Alam mo marami na ngayong mga older transsexuals uh, sa states, they're going against this... Um, uh, 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 lunacy. Kasi nga, it minimizes the condition na pag self-identity lang, parang kami, bitch, you can de- you can be self-identified, but what what we have, you cannot get out of it because it is a real medical condition. Can I get, can I de-diagnose myself? Or can I de-diagnose, can I de-diagnose, can I get out of me- a real medical condition? Of course not. Kaya nga, ano to eh, this is this is just a, I know, it, it has become a, a joke. Even even for us, huh? it has become a joke. Coach Franco, you wanted to say something? It's just a, I know. It's just a, I know. It's just a, I know. It's just a, I Tara lang, na, malinaw ba ako? Pa? Parang napuputol-putol ata ako. Malinaw ba ako? Medyo Parang nagbibig okay. ba ka? Like, hmm. Nagsis spike din yung latency mo, coach. Oo oh, nga eh. Parang delayed yun eh. Teka lang ah. Papalit ako ng internet. Teka lang. Okay. Okay. Right. Sige. Okay. Ayan. Ano siya eh, ate Joey? Gusto nila hmm. naging echo chamber auto-validation. Si ba valid How about parang? now? Yeah, I, I think yeah, it's better. Yeah, better go. Yeah, umoy na ba? 
Parang umaw. Yeah, yeah, much better. Uh-oh. Ayan, you wanted to say something, Coach? Meron na ba? Tawo dito, meron na ba tayong, meron na ba tayong yeah, like, do we have like a number of trans activists? Ay, no, yun, parang do we have like, do we have like uh, a, a group of trans activists already here in the Philippines? Or is it just random trans people on the internet kasi the thing about the, the, kasi the thing about trans activism is they're very loud pero konti lang sila eh. i mean if you look at the numbers if you look at the activity it's a, it's a very small it's it's a minority pero ang ingay kasi nila ang ingay nila tsaka consistent sila yun yung yun yung medyo mapapansin mo sa sa mga ganyang types of movement Another thing about, and that's the best, I mean, SAS is the best uh, person to have and discuss this because um, she's, she's part of the community, but at the same time, she's definitely more knowledgeable than the rest of these idiots who are, who are partaking in this activism online. So again, but while I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, based on, based on your experience, and yung yung knowledge mo being ha- having experienced other countries cultures how do you think will this type of activism affect the philippines considering we're a very conservative and very religious society and ano yung magiging role ngayon nung cultural structure ni pilipinas in terms of dealing with this type of of kasi it's going to happen it, it's going to happen dahil dahil ano yan eh it, it's part of syempre yung tin foil hat sa akin para sa akin this is this is a way of weakening your society this is a this, i mean the best way to weaken your society is to weaken your kids di ba say it's toxic masculinity and you attack the, the the basic structure of the family so how do you see this spanning out knowing and and having the knowledge of how it is unfolding sa western society I think I think coach um and dami kasi layers ng no, ng no, sinabi mo no like for example you mention yung toxic masculinity na na label and because of that men are now afraid to be masculine <laughs> no ano <laughs> yan Joey oh. eh, eh my god our generation love men to be masculine that they can carry that can carry our stuff, that they can open doors, oh, that they can protect us. <laughs> ako sinasabi ko, toxic <laughs> talaga ako. <laughs> alam mo yun, al- diba, alam mo yun, yung panahon namin, ang, 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 ang motto nga namin, magi mo ka, pero medyo pastos, no? Maybe, maybe right now. Ako sabi ko, I'm very considered... toxic. Sabi ko, uh, I'm, I'm the best example of toxic masculinity. Hindi, ano na nga, eh, na parang, why, 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 is, mm. why suddenly that they would like it? So if you don't want men to be masculine, what do you want to be? Do you want them to be feminine? But this is so I stupid. Don't so 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 don't I say toxic masculinity? Nam, I think you know. I think it's headed in direct the wrong direction, especially. If, like um like for example chivalry chivalry is now considered toxic masculinity <laughs> damn it totoo ba sobrang nakakatawa yung parang ako, ako sobrang hindi ko gets yun ay eh. parang well ako kaya kong buksan yung pinto pero pag yung, yung yung my guy is opening the door for me i love that too diba when, exactly. that away from me diba <laughs> Diba, oh, kaya kong magluto, kaya kong magluto, kaya kong maglaba, kaya lang. But if my guy is doing it for me, diba, gusto ko rin yun. Hindi, hindi alam mo nangyayari, I think I have witnessed this to, to like for example, sa Nebo, some, some younger, some younger woke. So, they have this, I, you know, they, they have this already um, culture against toxic masculinity, but they, but they are complaining a lot about boys who are immature <laughs> like, you know, they, but they but but these but but these same boys you know they have the same politics and then that's why i told them my my, my female students that's why you should mm. date a conservative guy because <laughs> these these days 
ang ang nangyayari, you know, these boys do not do not need um do not see any need anymore in order to prove themselves to be men. You know, they can just remain boys and immature and then that's it. So 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 so, so the girls, you know, so the girls are like complaining. Why are these why are why what bakit ito mga dinidate namin? Ay, napaka-immature. Napaka-ganyan, napaka-ganito, napaka-ganyan. Eh, bakit hindi magiging immature? Eh, you don't want them to prove themselves to be men. You you, you consider everything about masculinity as toxic. You know, during our generation, we don't have a word for toxic masculinity. If a guy is an asshole, he is an asshole. <laughs> ano siya, Miss Sasha? They are violating the very last nature. That's just it. You know, that's why I think we might be raising a generation of boys, you know, heterosexual, heterosexual uh, boys, who 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 will go grow up to be useless men. Alam mo yon, that they would they would no longer see they would no longer see themselves as providers. They would no longer see themselves as protector of their family. Yeah. Why are you removing that? And that is an old age, um, you know, age old wisdom that make masculinity stable. If you remove all that, you would create a different kind of masculinity. And sabi nga ni Jordan Peterson, the worst kind of man is a weak man. So the most dangerous kind of man is a weak man because that that the kind of man would would you know would have no no um what's this. Um, will not have an integrated psyche. So, I just let men be men, no? They are assholes. There, there are men who are assholes, and other men can determine who are those assholes, no? Put them into place. And that they also hate. They also hate those assholes, right? They also hate those assholes. Ask your father, no? He can determine the game of men who are who will not treat you seriously, you know? Because that's just how it goes. Now, now, regarding the, the, the trans activism, I think it has lost its plot. Um, and I think that the, the problem right now is that everything has been, um, it, it has all become virtual. Because when we were starting, I started the first trans gender advocacy group in the country in 2000. Our goal then was to integrate into society. <laughs> Nagigets nyo. Mm-hmm. At, ano pa namin, mga support, stice, yung, guys. Mga, yung mga support group meeting pa namin yun. Oh, no? babae ka, hindi mo pakababae ka, huwag kang gaganyan-ganyan. Ka, you know, just like how older, you know, just like your older aunts or older mother, your, your mother would train a young girl on how to be a woman. You know, like it's, it's it, it included that. Right. Now, <laughs> I'm sad to say, but a lot of you are giving gay, gay boy energy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then you're claiming so, you there, but... Marami pa yung, mas marami pa yung skincare uh, steps nila kaysa sa akin. Diba? Ayun na nga, na parang... Well, if you... You know, there were... You know, the, the, the society before already accepted that there are very, very few who would, who would uh, see the need to transition. And we will show compassion to them. But the thing there is that the, the goal of transition is to integrate. <laughs> yes, no. Ngayon kasi, yes. Do, you, do, you, do you still do you still hear the word integrate in 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 trans activism? Hindi na iba. Hindi na iba na parang. Pero sa ito tayo kasi ngayon yung sinisigaw eh. You know, they, basically that's it. That's not what they're demanding. They want a special treatment. Diba, look at the movement. Sense. Look at the movement before. It is I who would need to do something in order to integrate into society. Now it is society that needs to do something in order to affirm whatever I want. You know, I, I what's happening inside my brain. Na parang, parang come on. So yun lang. I hope coach na sagot ko yung tanong mo. Ayun. Parang delayed yata si coach eh. Hmm. I think Miss Sass, it's been a cacophony of 
stickman arguments. If you're not with us, automatically you're against us. Yan yung yan yung gusto nila. And to be honest, ito, I, I've heard this from some conservative guys that, you know, if the LGBTQ was to integrate into society, walang problema. The problem is some of this, uh, yun, the woke activists, they started uh, yeah, showing, yeah, yeah. shoving uh, it uh, down our oh, I like the point throats. na minention mo yung you started the first trans activism na movement dito sa Pilipinas. Kasi ako ay... Oo oh, nga eh, parang delayed yung audio ko. Parang pangit ang signal ko. Coach, gusto mo mag-reconnect? Para mag-sync yung ano, mag-sync yung, yung balikan. Ayan, ayan, wala si. Wala si. Kaya nga ako, may nephew ako. Um, nephew and niece. So, they're already 9 and 10. Uh, 9, 9 and 10. So, natuli na yung lalaki. So, alam mo yun, well, that's part of, you know, cultural um, rites of passage, di ba? In preparing you into manhood. Ako, I understand all these, um, you know, um, um, we shouldn't be sexist, we shouldn't be like this, etc. But I wouldn't throw away, you know, traditional gender norms. Like, a guy should raise himself up, especially if he's heterosexual, no? He should raise himself up in order to be a provider something. In order to be able to be the protector of the family. Ayun ang sabi ko dun sa nephew ko, na darating ang panahon, ikaw ang magtatagoy ng pamilya nyo. Ikaw ang mag... Dahil ikaw ang lalaki. And then I got, you know, I got a comment and um, I, 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 someone chastised me for that. Na parang, hindi naman, hindi naman dapat lahat, ano, hindi naman dapat lahat lalaki nagtatagoy ng, ng pamilya. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> of course, you know, women will do something about it. But it is the but it is the responsibility of the guy to do that. Uh-oh. At saka ano yung ano, pa- parang ano kasi eh, yung, um, I-, I think nanggagaling sila dun sa, ano, sa, yung um, pressure na naranasan ng, ng boys in the past that, oh, pag lalaki ka, kailangan ganito ka, pag lalaki ka, eh, ganito, eh, 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 and to a certain extent, nag, nag, meron rin naman talagang toll yun dun sa psyche ng mga bata na para grabe yung pressure na, du, yun, you know, dumating dun sa point na grabe rin yung pressure na nare-receive nung ating mga kabataang lalaki. Ganon. <laughs> but, you know, pressure, if it's all pressure, if done in, in a way na excessive, masama naman talaga. ba? Masama naman talaga. Bakit ang solusyon is to not pressure them at all. Hindi ba dapat, ang solusyon doon is make the pressure more amenable. Diba? Na parang, oh, sabihin mo, ganito, eme, 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 ganyan, ganyan. Ito yung mga responsibilities mo, ito yung mga dapat ginugol mo, ito yung mga dapat mong gawin, ganyan, ganyan. And so, your kid would be working towards something that is really good. Diba? A- anong, anong mali doon sa maging provider yung lalaki? Anong mali doon sa maging maging protector yung lalaki ng family, di ba? Kung yun yung goal niya, pagkatapos, let's say, hindi niya 100% na na-perform yun. Because the lady na magiging partner niya in the future is equally strong. Eh, yeah. di ka hindi sabihin, di ba? Eh, di, mas bongga, di ba? Mas bongga kasi meron siyang katuwang dun sa pag, pag-comply dun sa mga responsibilities na na-envision niya. Di ba? Me- meron... Meron naman talagang toxicity sa ibang part. Pero kasi, nung dating panahon kasi, it was out of, para kang nagdidikta sa anak mo, na ito ka, it, uh-huh. ito ka lang. Uh-huh. Iba, iba yung mga babae, kailangan pagdating mo ng 18, may asawa ka na. Or, or, or bakit hindi ka pa nag-aasaw? That's toxic, that's toxic in that regard. Hindi ko pwedeng maghintay muna ako until I'm, I'm mature enough. Pero yun na nga, na, I, I I really I I I really think that um they are kasi ang 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 problema kasi is when you're young you would like to be different. Mm-hmm. Oh, you would like to be different kasi nga part yun ng identity formation eh. Kasi for the longest time in your life you are just your parents' children. 
that is just your identity. You're just your the, the, the son or daughter of someone. So during your adolescence, you would like to create your own identity, and that is the normal process to adulthood in order to be your own person. So the problem right now is that, um, especially with some affirming, 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 that's the wrong way to approach it. Ako, pagsagihin ko, oh, do you really think that you're going to live as a woman for the rest of your life? Well, the definition is a book of a woman is an adult human female. The first thing that you should do is to become an adult first. <laughs> Bago ko mag-isip ng kung ano-anong alphabet. Yes! A huge part of being an adult is being mature. No? Being responsible. And then, you proceed with human. What does it mean to be human? Do not be an asshole. And then being female, you can sort it out sometime in, in, in your adult after you have already finished that. Wala namang... Eh, eh ngayon kasi, oh, I wanna be... Can you imagine? Ako talaga, nag-aano na lang ako, nag-cringe na lang ako. 14-year-old, trans woman, how can a 14-year-old be a woman in the first place? <laughs> <laughs> eh, ano ka pa? Baby, ba baby bra warrior ka pa? <laughs> Hindi ka pa naman talaga woman, di ba? <laughs> Hindi ka naman yung problema eh. Hindi ka naman pa yung logical thing. You don't, you don't even have the age required to be a woman. <laughs> Yes, coach. And that's actually the that's actually the problem. That is going to be the that's why the kids are the targets. That's why whoever I mean whatever whoever is trying who is underneath the alphabet mafia, they're always targeting kids. They will always target kids. Kasi nga mas madaling mabola mga bata, mas madaling mapikot, mas madaling, di ba? Mas mas madaling maloko mga bata. And I mean in all honesty, di ba? I mean a lot of studies have shown that that you are you're you haven't really formed a diba I mean your prefrontal cortex won't be developed until the age of twenty five and then diba your 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 adolescence is your years of confusion diba um best example na lang ang, ang mga bata kasi they're they're very gullible diba? they're very gullible exactly they're just, and and that that's the that's the main thing that Whatever agenda ng mga trans activists na masyadong maingay ngayon, they're a very small group, pero yun nga, masyado silang maingay. They're targeting kids kasi nga, mas madaling ma-mold or mas madaling ma maingan yung mga bata into doing something like this. Tapos at the same time, the result is ano eh, but the, uh, the individual results, di ba, merong, merong specific results yan. From a group dynamic, meron ding results yan. Pero from a nationwide perspective, Diba? You're weakening society. Diba? You're weakening society. Underman. And the weakened society is a society that's easy to attack. We're very easy to, especially in the advent of the internet, and the advent of, of propaganda, and and yung vast majority or vast information that is readily available sa mga gadgets natin. That's why values formation is a very critical component. And yun nga, that's why you, I'm very thankful that you guys are doing this. I mean, the rare times that I'm on Joey's show, yun nga, it's, it's very good that you guys are educating people na pag bata ka, bata ka. Kasi ito na lang, ito, si Joey kasi same community kami. Room for kids class. Kids class. Ito yun ah, kids class. May isang, may isang bata lumapit sa akin. Did you know I'm pansexual? This is like a nine year, sabi ko, how old are you? Sabi niya, nine years old. Sabi ko, nobody gives a shit if you're pansexual. Tapos, sabi niya, Really? Sabi niya, yeah. So, do you, do you know what's more important? Sabi niya, yeah. Sabi ko, the most important part is I want you to be good to your parents. Sabi ko, and at the same time, kasi babae ito eh. Sabi ko, if you can, if you can beat up that 14-year-old kid. Sabi niya, really? Sabi niya, people will, ano, I'll be more popular in class. Sabi ko, yeah, you'll be more popular than class instead of shouting to people you're pansexual. Sabi ko, stop being an idiot. 
So sabi niya, really? Ah, okay, okay. So bigla siya, so bigla siya, sumisigaw siya sa class ngayon, I'm not pansexual anymore. I'm not pansexual. So yung mga, yung mga kaklase niya, ah, oh, okay. Then, I, then Coach? sabi niya, then Coach? I'm not transsexual. I'm not bisexual. Sabi ko, Coach? ano kayo? Sabi ko, nagsama-sama kayong lahat dito. Pumasok kayo sa klase. Tapos bigla niyo na lang sinabi yung mga ganyan. Sabi ko, saan niyo nakita yan? Wala. Well, no, we, we just saw it on the internet. Sabi ko, stop going on the internet. <laughs> Coach? Coach, yes. ano? Nine years old? Pan-sexual. Nine years old. Na yun nga, di ba? Can you imagine? It's a exactly. sexual term. How could if they ever know? Exactly, exactly. Kaya nga ako, that's why it's very important. Na, that's why I asked you the question of how will something, like how, how this type of movement will break barrier sa Pilipinas considering we have a long history of religion. We have a long history of uh of of conservative cultural diverse uh, cult, uh very conservative cultural setup so i i i'm, I'm really banking on that one diba? it's not a perfect thing for the philippines it's not a perfect setup pero sometimes inisip ko i'm banking on the conservative nature of filipinos to kind of slow down this shit so that we so that kids yeah. have enough time to figure things out on their own Hindi, alam, Kasi, alam mo, coach what i'm worried i'm worried about is um, the society would further move to the extreme part mm. of conservatism. That's that's what I'm worried about, and and I do understand why would it happen, no? Because ang gulo eh. I think that the problem right now is um, wala nang parental guidance, especially on the internet. Mm. Alam mo ba kung nung, when when I was like um uh, when I met my nephew and nieces, I was like so shocked. Can you imagine na napaka napaka feeling ko napaka napaka liberal ka rin na tao. I was shocked of what they what they could watch on what they were watching on on I on did. on their uh, iPad. You'd be surprised what 40 12 13 14 year olds are doing on their messaging apps. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, and then and then and then ang dami nang basta I, I was just so shocked, no? At ako, nung, nung binilan ko sila ng, 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 ng tiisa nilang iPad, sobrang strict ko. Alam mo, magkinawa ko talaga, image control ko talaga, and everything, uh, nakatime pa, ganyan. Ganyan talaga ngayon. Mm-hmm. And and kaya kaya nag-rebel. Kaya show yung pages that they can visit. Kasi otherwise, ako may yung predator nakakausap dyan, or mag- mm. tapos, ngayon, mm. tapos ngayon, nag-rebel, nagalit sa akin. Kaya sabi ko, ay nako, if I cannot, I cannot handle the kids, no. If they're gonna be under my care, they have to be fo- They have to follow my street rules of this. That alam ko, mm. this this will just ruin their childhood. Na nagayar. Eh, ako talaga yung lang pa kaya. Yun yung nakakagulat eh. You know the lack. I think we are seeing right now the lack of parental um, authority, parental guidance, and the adult, and a lot of adults who have unresolved teenage and childhood issues are projecting it to the children and teenagers of society. Mm. Na parang, hindi ito nabigay sa akin ng society, no ako eh. So, ibibigay ko to sa mga bata, sa mga teenagers without them thinking that what they're actually giving is actually too much already. Alam mo na parang... And uh, no, that's why I'm real. Kaya ngayon, nakikita ko rin yung uh, another observation that I am seeing right now is yung mala- malaki rin yung effect minsan nga it reaches a point where mas malaki yung effect ng social circles dun sa sa values formation ng ng mga yes. adolescents or teens kasi um, there would be times where in like right after during the pandemic and right after pandemic ang ang kids class at teens class namin nag spike up spike up kasi nagulat din ako sabi ko bakit then I started talking to some parents, which is which I'm really bad at. Say I'm not a really good, a very sociable person. So, so sabi ko, sabi ko why they enjoy bringing their 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 children to class, and the kids then naman and the teens enjoy the social dynamic that's happening within the class structure. So do ko rin nakita na parang all of a sudden, big lang mas malaking ngayon yung responsibility ng mga social gathering places like yan uh, uh, extracurricular yung mga gyms social organizations uh, yung mga no kasi for example ako um, admittedly I'm in a very niche industry 
pero the effect that we have on on not just the students but the parents i have no idea people will parents will suddenly come up to me and, and thank me dahil daw mas disiplinado ang anak nila sabi ko minumura ko po yung anak niya sa school sabi ko <laughs> hindi ko po alam kung ano yung sinasabi niya sa akin pero <laughs> i don't know how to accept that pero di ba it's 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 some it's it's provide kasi what these things I'm, i run a martial arts school kasi so i have a day job but after work i run a martial arts school and one of the things that that we really really instill on people is structure diba? it's structure i mean yan yung overall and all encompassing ano kasi parang yun yung nawawala ngayon yun yung napapansin ko yes. nawawala sa society ngayon tapos later on sabi ko naisip ko na din when we're all talking and i think sas can probably answer this better will it reach a point where in if we allow these things to happen it's either we get very very weak men and then opposite spectrum yung ultra masculine men kasi pwedeng mangyari yan eh. i i i kasi wala na mag, we will probably reach a point na walang in between yung steady lang ng mga lalaki na talaga mabait lang sila they'll go about with what they have to do pero biglang magkakaroon yan because of what's happening do you think that is a possibility sa I, 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 I think i think that I think that could ha- I think what you can have is um uh a a I think you would I think I think both kasi ng extreme eh, the weak man and the ultra masculine man yung talagang super hello ano to yung super, super mm-hmm. macho both both come from the same place weak self esteem mm-hmm. So that's that's actually what what that's that's actually what we're we're I know actually that's already happening now No, like if if you survey if you survey a lot of girls right now about their dating life, ako kasi sa Netherlands na ah, I ask my female students, hmm. hindi sila may problema sa mga sa mga lalaki. Pero yung mga boyfriend naman nila pareho sila ng mga na political beliefs, yung mga woke woke beliefs. So sabi ko, bakit? Why are you not creating healthier healthier relationships that, that we had? Ako nga sabi ko, kapag kita kwento ko ngayon relationship ko sa kanila na parang Oh, parang, they couldn't imagine it because it's very traditional, you know, traditional mm. man, you know, traditional arrangement and etc. But they say, "Na bakit tapang healthy ng no, relationship?" I, I don't know about you guys, no. I, I think that's that's the problem. We're creating, ano, um, it, it has, ano, it has reached a point na, um, I, I think kaya nga dapat ibalik ang ang ano eh, values education eh. Ako more on virtue education eh. Um, mm. I don't know kung makakans, kasi nung panahon kasi namin, you know, I, I studied in an exclusive school for boys. Mm. So, so, nung panahon na yun, meron mga pag, alam mo yun, the, the, um, the, the students were being trained to be a gentleman. Pero talagang gano'n na, um, okay, this is, this is what you do. Meron talagang, ano, parang... Oh, may GMRC g- tayo. May GMRC. <laughs> Oo, gears to being a gentleman. Kahit yung, 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 yung sister ko namin, Saint Scholastica, meron din gano'n sa kanila, yung being a lady, ganyan, na parang, you know, sometimes they are too much, no? Like, hmm. magkikringe ka na ito, ano ba to? Pero, pero that gives you an idea na there are roles to play in society and then these roles have important function in the stability of society can you imagine if you're just gonna say no women shouldn't get pregnant women sh- women women shouldn't form a family men doesn't need to be the protector of the family uh, men doesn't need to provide <laughs> How are we going to cultivate the society if that's how we are going to, ano, to... Pag... Um, uh, yan, ano yan eh, um, yan yung bunga ng very indiv- individualistic na, na philosophy ng, ano eh, ng, ng Americans, ganon. We're in tayo bilang bilang uh, you know well most Asian countries. Yung sensibilities natin is formed through ano eh yung yung may community sense tayo eh 
'di ba? May community sense, ganun. So that is why eto ha, you know, since nandito rin naman si ano, andito si Coach Franco. Ako I, I really believe that because sobra yung gadget ngayon ng mga bata, yung grabe yung ano nila. The only time na wala silang gadget is when they are going to the gym and train. Yun lang yung time na ano eh, yun lang yung time na wala silang yung yung talagang focus nila kasi hindi, hindi ka po pwedeng mag-gadget sport, that, that, tennis that, sport. That, oh, oh, habang nag nag-aano kayo diyan, nagfo-front roll kayo diyan or nag-aano. You know, you have to be present at kailangan mo maintindihan yung mga techniques na tinuturo. It's very physical, it's very ano and um fan ako ng sport ever since because I think yung sports kasi, martial arts and mga physical activities that would lead to competition, to ano. Meron tong mga tinuturong values na very important sa society eh. It teaches us hard work. It teaches us how to improve ourselves. Tapos, meron rin siyang built-in na hierarchy that is based on what effort, how much effort you actually put in doon sa discipline na yun. So makikita mo aakyat yung rank mo. Depende kung gaano ka ano na ano nung kung gaano ka 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 tinde yung effort mo na ginagawa para mag-improve. And then at the end of the day, kahit pa na, nandoon ka na sa pinakamataas, you know, um a, a lot of people think na yung mga martial arts martial arts ano experts you know, sa saglit na saglit lang they can take you down eh. They're not doing that. Because alam nila kaya namin at saka but namin but kami magpo-provoke but talaga yun yung confidence na gusto natin, 'di ba? Yun yung yun yung ano, yun yung na parang of course I can be ano no, I can be very uh I could be your baddest dream, but of course I'm not going to do that. And that ladies and gentlemen is the character that we wanted to ano to to build, 'di ba? Joey, you hit on a very important um you hit a very important goal of any kind of education either academic or sports. I, I was an educator. I, I I taught um well university students but they're just fresh from high school. It is character development. Mm-hmm. Character development. Hindi natin tinuturo mo gender development. Wala pang character. <laughs> Ay, <laughs> pansexual, pansexual. Eh. May pansexual, pansexual na. coach, coach, no? Nagulat talaga ako, nine-year-old, pansexual. You know what? Dur- kami na mga matatanda, mga LGBT activists. You know, during our time, it's an absolute no to include minors in organizing. It's an absolute no to have minors in our organization. It's an absolute no. Ang, ang request nga lang yung, huwag ka naman bubugin. Ganyan. Na parang, ma- Pero we don't allow minors. Kaya ngayon, why are these just activists, adults, advocating for the minors? Parang, una-una, they have parents. No? Tayo, lumaki tayo, we don't have all this kind of, ano, we negotiated with our parents. And it only made us more resilient. And it actually made our parents respect us because we are actually involving them in the process. Kaya pag away pa kay John or whatever. But eventually, you know, when you when you become an adult, you become older. When you look back at that time, mag magigising nala kayo pareho na oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm so sorry for this because that is part of you know family development. You cannot force. Sabi pinag usapan nga namin kaniya ni Joey. You can't force your parents to accept you for who you are. Because your parents have been there longer than you are, no? Mm-hmm. And kind of force you on other, ano, ano, in comfortable and different worldview. You cannot just yeah. force them to change their world worldview. One day you show up on, ano, at their door. Tapos, de ba na para ako oh, baguhin yung worldview yung proseso yan, de ba? Kaya nga ako, kaya nga ako pag tinatanong ako na, you know, because when you're adult, I I think it's part of healthy. Um, maturation, that you look back at your childhood and you start to see whatever hardships that you have undergone during your childhood or teenage years in a much better light. You become more charitable to your parents. You realize that 
yeah, if my parents were not the best parents that I hope to be in my teenage years, they all have the reasons to be because they are so stressed at work. <laughs> They've been juggling a lot of things. And then here I am introducing a pronoun to them. <laughs> Sobrang daming pronouns. <laughs> diba? Kaya nga sabi ko sa parent eh, nakuha mo kakausapin niya ng, ng English. Talk to your child in Tagalog. Tapos ang problema niyan. So, kaya nga, kaya kang pag tinatanong na, kasi I've always tell them na, you know, when I was when I was 18, I came out to my mother, I said, Ma, I need to transition to being a woman. I cannot live as a man. I cannot, blah, blah, blah. My mother told me, well, it's either you stay in my house, I pay for your education, but you have to do whatever I want you to do, or you leave my house and then you pursue whatever you want to do. At the time, at the time, I felt hurt, no? And then now, when I look back, my mother has a point. I'm already 18, you know? <laughs> I'm already an adult. And that is just, you know, if you're 18, you are expected to leave, you know, your parents and then form your own life. So, ayun yun yung naano ko, and that's just that, that's just it. Kaya nga, you know, when I look at my, my, what my mother, a lot of things that my mother did to me then, I now appreciate. Like, for example, nahuli niya ako ng Jumujo ng beauty content. Nagalit siya sa akin. Pinagbawala niya ako. And then I realized, oh my God, if my mother didn't do that, baka hindi ko na-achieve yung mga na-achieve ko ngayon sa buhay ko. You know, because it, it's an entirely different world. I would be drawn into that world and I know what kind of world that is. So, I wouldn't be able to achieve what I wanted to do. Now, you know, my mother, I don't know if she has fully accepted me or whatever, but she calls me by my name. She refers to me as her daughter. And that took like 15 years. Um, no, not 15, 20 years, not two decades. And is it worth the wait? Of course it is worth the wait. Why would it be worth the wait? Why are you rushing me? Mm -hmm. um, thing la, I like what Coach Franco did to that nine-year-old um girl no pero ang thing lang don if you talk to a trans activist you'd be labeled as um homophobic and oh. you'll be warned na Her ano masculine oh alam mo you'll be warned na I yung mga bata they will commit suicide kasi sinabi mo yan yung hino hostage nila yung political view nila na yung mga bata mag magsi suicide daw parang i'm just telling the truth you know mm. ah, ako ako Dito, I've a lot of people tried to cancel me already. So you go, you can't cancel the uncancelable. So you can't because I don't give a shit about other people. So I don't. Yeah, I, I want to ask to about that media. coach. I, I want to ask that about that coach because, parang feeling ko, I'm pretty sure at merong ano jan, merong mga dagagalit na parents like ano. I mean, I'm the, uh, I'm the, uh, ako, yeah, okay, so. Uh, si, si Joey kasi alam to eh. Ako, napaka-simple ng rule ko sa, sa academy ko. It's either my way or there's the door, get the fuck out. Ganon ka-simple. <laughs> Ganon ka-simple yung rules ko. Ganon ka-simple yung rules ko. So, nagtataka ako ba't marami akong estudyante. So, <laughs> Pero ano yan, tawag dito. No, then, um, for, for Sas and Joey, I don't know if you guys, if you girls have already discussed this. Have you like, how do you see, yan, si Sa siguro yung makakasagot ng mas comprehensive. It's like, how about the detransitioners? I mean, the amount of detransitioners that that are coming out, I'm, I'm pretty sure na the numbers are probably bigger. Pero, what about them now? How do we factor them in into the whole conversation, knowing that there are people that are advocating for this, there are a lot of people who are pushing for this, pero parang sila yung medyo napag-iwanan. Parang sila yung medyo bosses na hindi naririnig ngayon. So how do you see that entire situation right now? Joey, go muna. From, from a non-trans point of view. From, from a non-trans point of view. Actually, ano no, um, I remember, I, I, I vividly remember an interview of this trans, uh, trans woman Na parang naging beauty queen, beauty queen pa siya. Luma nak nakalimutan ko pa. I, I forgot his name, pero yung interview niya very, very powerful. Kasi uh, nag-transition siya into a, into a woman, nagpatanggal na siya ng eme, ganyan, nag-undergo siya ng... nag talaga, mayroong physical changes na talaga. Tapos, nag-stop siya. Uh, 
well, the get in touch siya dun sa ano niya, yung parang sabi niya hindi ito yung ina-expect ko na na ano na mangyayari sa akin. Tapos parang bakit ba pinipilit ko na maging babae? Eh hindi naman ako talaga magiging babae, ganyan ganyan. May, may mga ganun-ganun siya. Pagkatapos then later on, bumalik talaga siya sa ano yung nag-start siya mag-wear ng men's clothes, ganun-ganun mga ano ano ganun. It is very difficult kasi hindi mo na ma-reverse yung operation eh. 'Di ba? Hindi mo na ma-reverse yung operation. And so, and so I felt that it's very very important na people like that should also be heard dahil um yung mga affer- yung mga ano yung mga cheerleader na mga gender affirmation, they don't talk about it. 'Di ba? Ay sa akin okay lang if if you really feel that way. O kahit anong trip mo, kahit anong gusto mo, uh, kung sa sarili mo or whatsoever, okay lang as long as it is guided, it is rational, it is something that you really thought of, it is something that is not done in a flimsy, it is not something that you just identify with. Diba? Kumbaga, duman siya dapat sa ano, dumata, duman siya dapat sa pagninilay-nilay, ganon. So sa akin, okay lang yon. In the course of your journey, do sa pag-iisip, kung ano ba talaga yung place mo doon sa mundo, ikwento natin lahat. So, you, doon ako bad trip sa mga nag-a-affirm. Kasi hindi nyo kinukwento lahat eh. Hindi nyo kinukwento na ang hirap pala pag nag-transition ka, you have to do this every day, you have to, ano, ganyan-ganyan. Pagkatapos, under medication ka ng ganyan-ganyan, MM I remember the, the trans man doon sa Mark Walsh na documentary. Yung galit na galit siya kasi sabi niya gano'n, nobody told me. Yung what is a woman? Oo, yung sa what is a woman. <laughs> diba? Actually, sa totoo lang, gusto ko talagang sampalin yung pedya doon. Yung nagbibigay ng mga gamot sa mga bata na parang, oh my God! Parang pag ito, nandito to sa, nandito to sa Pilipinas, pagkatapos ganyan siya magsalita sa akin. Talagang makakatikin talaga to. Gano'n. Sabi niya, parang wala naman nagsabi sa akin. So, sa ako, Sinasabi ko to doon sa mga anak ko, sabi niya doon sa tatlo niyang daughters, sinasabi ko to so that whatever decision that they want to do in life, aware sila that these are the consequences. ba diba? Na ako. Action, actions of consequences. Oo, sabi, sabi nga niya, ako hindi ko nga alam kung babubuhay pa ako ng ano eh. Sa sobrang daming operation at gamot na nilaklak ko, hormones na ininom ko, ni hindi ko alam kung mabubuhay ako na kaya kung kaya kung alagaan pa itong mga anak ko for ano no for um, longer period, ganyan. So, yun. So, parang, sa akin, very important na, ano, in, in whatever we do, huwag tayong mag, ikwento natin lahat, huwag tayong mag-degrowth ng ano. Gusto nyo ng matalinong decision? Gusto nyo matalino ng usapan? Eh, ikwento natin lahat. Diba? Ayun. Hindi pwedeng mag-cherry picking, okay, diba? Oo. Uh, and contestant number two, <laughs> from a trans perspective you know what coach to be honest with you before um i haven't done before i have done something drastic um the first drastic thing i did was when i was 20 or 23 um i i have undergone orchiectomy now so orchia i don't i think you know what's orchiectomy so so i was no, archaeotomy is the removal of the testicles. Okay. Ah, hindi. Okay. Pero, hindi. Sa, di mo na kailangan lagi ng timeline yan. Kasi nga, low-key fanboy mo ko. Nakita ko na sa social media mo yung kwento ng transition mo sa, ano, sabi ko, okay, okay. this bitch did it right. Sabi ko. <laughs> so, coach, so, before that, what I did, I didn't go to people who would affirm who I am. <laughs> Yon. <laughs> I didn't. You know what I did? I kept watching on stories of the transitioners. Because I want to know, no? Baka naman, you know, I, I would like to see their pattern. And maybe I, I, you know, maybe I'm like, I'm, I'm just like them. You know? No. And then, and then eventually, um, um, I, 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 I went to the Netherlands and then, you know, I was able to, to do the entire thing. Even then, even siguro months, months, year before my actual surgery, I kept watching on the transitions. Parang, oh my God, ano kaya? Parang, you know, because this is, this is not a simple decision that you have to do. Because I know that there is a condition called reverse dysphoria. Yeah. Na, 
because you keep on taking cross-sex hormones because you thought that your gender dysphoric, dysphoric now when you are taking cross-sex cross hormones dun ka ngayon nagkaroon ng totoong gender dysphoria and then because you have a sexual assignment surgery now now you finally feel what it means to have gender dysphoria once you have you know no longer have the genitalia that your brain recognizes Kaya na ako, for me, the stories of the trans trans transitioners are needed. They needed to be heard. They needed to be heard in schools. They needed to be heard by young people. They, kasi, can, you, can you see right now, ah, the, the profile of the transitioners right now are younger. Yeah, very young. <laughs> diba yung mga, nag, yung mga na puberty blockers, the cross-sex hormones, mm. and then undertook some surgeries. Very, very young age. Parang it's very few ang older. Very few ang older. Kasi, you know, hindi naman kasi to out of a way. So, ako talaga, I, I really, I really watch them. And actually, I feel compassion for them. Kasi there's no medical treatment for detransitioners. So, parang, so, parang, alam mo yun na parang, oh, okay, bahala ka na dyan, you committed a mistake. But the problem is, it is our current climate that pushes these people to commit these um, mistakes na that's not supposed to be for them. Kasi talaga before talaga napaka strict ng protocol eh. Na sobrang strict. Strict na strict can you imagine um even a few years uh, ago. Actually ngayon ang Netherlands nag strict na sila. Mas mas, mas nag strict. Parang I have a friend. Nasa friend nas, nasa Pilipinas siya katulad ng sila karami nang mabakla, umiiyak nang pills, etc. Puto siya ng Germany. Nag gone through siya ng therapy. Doon niya na-realize, hindi pala ako trans. <laughs> Bakla lang pala. <laughs> and, and that therapy is supposed to prepare you for um, the entire transition. Kasi ito challenge ka dun sa therapy eh. Ihimay-himayin yung ano mo, yung mental landscape mo eh. Kasi nga, as I said earlier, there are mental health issues, mental health illness that is mimicking gender dysphoria. And that's true. And you cannot self-diagnose yourself. I don't have other mental health issues that, you know, making me feel gender dysphoric. <laughs> kaya, nga, kaya, kaya, kaya nga may therapy eh. Ngayon kasi, yung karami ng mga trans activists ngayon, gusto nila transition by demand eh. You go there, you say you're trans, you're gonna give, you're gonna give us. Kaya ang laki, di ba ang taas ng, ng detransitioners ngayon, no? Di ba? Yeah. Tapos ang, 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 at ang nangyayari pa ngayon, this because this is created. This is a climate created by the new trans actors. Kaya nga, this is their problem. This is a problem that they created. No, kaya nga, you know, let let older people and well-adjusted people speak more. Because a lot of us would say that that's too young. <laughs> My God, let them explore. Let them explore their bodies first. Yes, a house. Yeah, I have a question. Um, what can you say about these, um, let's say, trans activists na they would blame people's mindset or people's opinion why these um, trans, trans, transgender or transsexual have tendency to commit suicide, let's say. Um, I had an experience. Um, um, I went up to Flowers Live where they talked about young transgender um in women's um competition or sports yung boxing yung taekwondo tapos ako i was i mean i would baby. accept them but please <laughs> no don't let them fight in women's division because these people are much stronger tapos may nagsabi sa akin na you are homophobic this is really dangerous harmful opinion Parang people are committing suicide because of that kind of opinion, and I was now I'm a, I'm a homophobic. I just want to protect these women who were born women, and I don't want them to be killed in that sport. What can you say well, about these guys? Well, house, um, to be honest, if a kid is telling you that I'm going to commit suicide unless you let me transition. Reali realize it for what it is. That's emotional blackmail. Mm. No? That's the kid wanting to exert authority over an adult. Mm. Second, if someone 
um, is saying that they have thoughts of suicide, explore what is the source of suicide. Mm -hmm. My God, maybe it's maybe it's not the gender dysphoria. Maybe it's something else. Maybe maybe the child experienced trauma, sexual abuse. Maybe maybe you know there are a lot of things why a child wanted to be a different person, mm -hmm. you know, and, or have a different body. And you have to explore it thoroughly. Kaya nga, kaya nga ako sa mga nagsasabi na, ah, oh, we have to give them because otherwise they're going to commit suicide. What kind of medical diagnosis is that? <laughs> Stage uh, yan. Parang sinasabi mo sa, you know, go I talk to a therapist. I attempted, when I, I attempted suicide when I was young, huh? but it has nothing to do with, 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 with. but it's not because I, I am trans. I attempted suicide because I was depressed. I I nagbreak kami ng boyfriend ko. My mother couldn't accept me. I don't know how to live um, outside the house of my parents. I thought the and it's normal process because I was raised in a generation where kids are not taught to be an adult. And I think that is the reason right now. You know, the children are not being taught how to be an adult. You know, they're not being prepared to adulthood. And that is a huge part of my um, depression then because I don't know what to do. You know, I was 18 and supposed to be, I I have to be an adult already, mm. but I don't know where to go. You know, I, I feel so hopeless, etc. But it has nothing to do about, you know, so, something else. It is related, but it is not the source. So you need to target the real source. Kaya nga, um, there are people who transition. They thought that transition is for them, that it would be a panacea, it would and then they become more depressed and eventually they commit suicide and this is true you know and and this is not being talked about because uh this is transphobia etc i think it is life saving you know if you talk about these things you know because I, it, it's it's huh yeah if i hear you right um what i'm hearing is that if you are depressive whatever condition you have if you think you're transgender or whatever go talk to a therapist instead of changing people's opinion instead of cha changing their mindset talk to a therapist so you will be diagnosed so you get medication instead of insisting people oh homophobic yung sinasabi mo kasi you don't believe me yes correct correct you, you know until dito house kasi parang ang nangyayari no yung when when yung mga quote and quote ano no yung mga rainbow rainbow activists very dismissive rainbow mafia rainbow mafia like that coach like that oh, yung ano tawag dito very dismissive sila doon sa source ng ng depression kasi sinasabi nila eh kasi nagpapakamatay pag hindi mo inaffirm magpapakamatay din ganyan that's gaslighting diba you're not dealing with a real problem diba you're not dealing with a real problem Kung, kung magsasabi ng ganon yung 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 individual yun yeah perfectly agree with us find the source de ba because kids like that should not be talking that way de ba so ngayon pag how sure are you that if you affirm that person mawawala na yung mga suicidal thoughts na de ba alam, si eh. alam mo kasama yan sa ano sa real therapy Inaan, tinatanong talaga, have you, have you, have you thought about committing, committing suicide? So I attempted, and then I, I, I talked about it. And then sabi ng therapist ko, alam mo, you're, you're, you're already, already past that, no? Kasi you're talking about this, and then you're laughing, and then you're, you're, you're finding it, uh, ridiculous, etc. Kasi that's a sign of a healthy, um, men, um, a, a, that's a sign that you have actually, a healthy mental outlook that you can actually laugh at yourself. Kaya nga ito ka rin yung mga trans activists. <laughs> Tama kami sa sin. I'm, so, I'm suspicious point. about your mental health. You cannot even laugh at yourself. Mm -hmm. Siya kami. Kasi gusto ko yung uh, point sa sin. Sabi ko nga, um, I, I felt like I was depressive for six years. Um, tapos, Nung sinabi niya na you were tran you are transphobic parang sana all sana ganun na lang na i-change ko na lang yung opinion ng tao sa akin so my depression will go away 
it did not go away. No matter how I would convince them na, hey, you should see me as this because depression comes from me, so, fr- comes from my mind. It doesn't matter anong opinion ng mga tao sa yo. Your depression is all yours to deal with. Get a shrink. <laughs> Kita mo, di ba, ang sabay din yung dumadami yung depression cases sa it's a teenagers ngayon, no? It's actually an explosion, Miss Sass, as per sa statistics ng therapist ko. Uh, it's a multitude of factors. Uh, not just the pandemic, but yeah, the rise of this uh, woke activism. But, uh, but, but, pero among those, ano, ano yung na-zero in nila that they were they were just depressed and suicidal because hmm. of gender? Aba? I Wala. am not mo, yet to see a medical journal. Hindi ka pa pwedeng mag... Wala. You need those those comorbidities, comor- 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 comorbidities, comorbidities <laughs> needed to be attended to first by therapist in order for you to undergo any medical um, treatment related to gender dysphoria. Mm-hmm. Kasi ano yan eh, it might compound, you know, it, it might actually worsen your condition. Um, kaya nga ano eh, dapat you need to be in a sound mind. and healthy mind in order in order to go through the real process of gender transition it's not ako i will i will answer one more thing no kung bakit din may explosion dito na maraming nag-identify as trans or whatever bigla kasi this is not known for the general community but it's known in our community i'm pretty sure you know that there is a fetish in porn on women with dicks no the 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 the, the female porn And and that's a huge, I know, that's a huge motivator. Why a lot of, um, I don't know, younger kids now want to transition? Because yeah, there is monetary thing involved. You know, the, there is an entire sex industry dedicated to that. And 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 that's kind of that's kind of, I know, um, sad. So the, a lot of people are transitioning for the wrong. reasons and i'm afraid that when after a few more years we will have also an explosion of the transitioners in our country everybody's talking about talking around but no one is talking about finding out no tama no coach every every action has its consequence and these people just oh we want to act we want to act but Once you get there, once you get the consequences, and these are irreversible actions, good luck. Good luck on the consequences. And yeah, there's going to be an explosion. Tama si, I want to repeat the point ni Miss Sase. That the problem is that this, this, uh, the Rainbow Mafia is not addressing these issues medically, rather politically. And this, there's, there's a hint of, I mean, in natin, there's a hint of narcissism in that. Narcissism and medyo psychopathy nga. And with, with the left, wing extremism yun yung medical yun yung medical findings ng mga psychologists and ayun nga eh uh, with with depression ano ba ang pwedeng ano ano ba ang pwedeng cause why, why does the kid it's not gender sir maybe the kid's getting bullied maybe the kid is suffering from a broken family diba maybe the kid is suffering from abuse or where, wherever that comes from And daming pwedeng cause. The problem is, the thing is, in medical situations, because I volunteer in EMS, you have to eliminate, you have to rule out everything. Process of elimination. You do not assume na porket nag-elevate yung blood pressure, hypertensive agad. No. You observe that for 30 days. Case in point. Hindi porket nag-cramps, hypokalimic agad. No. You have to confirm that your blood test. You have to rule everything out hindi yung one thing did so another no that is if i would quote professor carlos that is lazy thinking yep if yung ibang trans po ba ay hindi pala talaga trans what is your opinion take on them you say female cr ako ako muna <laughs> tapos ikaw joey and then other people's good good chicken Ganito lang yan. I think I already told Joey before sa ibang live. Ayan, nako, ayan din. Sakto. Go, 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 go. Before before I started female only space. Um, I didn't use it immediately because oh, I feel I feel I'm this. 
I made sure first that the people around me, you know, are already perceiving me as a woman. Ma'am, without me forcing it on them. So when I use the female seat, the female restroom, I do not create a commotion. No, I do not use, I didn't use female um, uh, showers until after my sex suicide and surgery. Because in the first place, I would find it weird walking with something dangling between my, my legs and going to the female restroom. If I would feel that it's weird already for myself, but more with, you know, what more with other users in the female restroom. Kita nyo, you know, I know a lot of, I know a lot of trans people in the female restroom, and they, they don't, they don't have any issues. At all. They do, they do not have any issues. So the, the people who are having issues there are those people who have not yet worked hard, you know, put on an effort in order for them to be perceived by society without them forcing them to do that. Because you can do that, you know, because why wouldn't you make an effort? Any bang trans guy and over being trans is to transition into the other gender, and the part of the transition is to actually integrate physically, socially, etc. into the other gender. Go on, Joey. Ayan. Well, at mo dito yung yung sa CRCR issue kasi. Um, meron. You know, first na point is, sa totoo lang, I can accommodate, walang problema. But you know, um, you know, uh, kunwari, eh, yung sinabi na, yung, yung nagsabi na nag, ano siya, sinasabi niya na I identify as a woman pagkatapos ka mukha ni Brutus, ang laki ng katawan. Pag, diba? Tapos pupunta ka dun sa loob ng babaeng CR. I have security issues kasi meron akong pechay, okay? Meron akong pechay. So ngayon sa akin, um, yung mga CRCR issue na yan, if it is clear to me that you are not a woman, whether meron nakalawit dyan o wala, if it's clear to me that you are not a woman, do not go there. Kasi meron akong pechay eh. And you know, the donut that I have and the the hot dog that you have may forcibly enter, di ba? Di ba? You know, respect my space. Di ba? Respect your space ko. So parang sa akin, yun yung una. Yun yung una. Okay, now, if you're going to, let's say for example, yung parang nasa middle ng transition, pero alam mo talaga kung kumilo siya, kahit mukha pa siyang lalaki, kahit hindi pa putol yung emerot niya, ganyan-ganon. Pero it is done in a, yun nga, walang commotion, done in a polite manner, ganyan-ganyan. Pwede naman ako mag-accommodate, hindi naman ako ganong kasamang tao. Diba? Pero yung parang if force mo sa akin na, Hoy, Joey, wala kang magagawa. Ang hotdog ko, kahit nandito pa to, ay iihi sa iniihian ng pechay mo. Diba? Mayroon tayong problema doon. Diba? Mayroon tayong problema doon. Because if you're going to force it to me, pagkatapos I have security issues, diba? Eh, pag pumunta ka doon sa kabila, ibig ko sabihin, diba? At least doon walang, walang pechay na papasukin ng hotdog. Diba? Walang pechay Hindi na papasukin ng hotdog. Eh, Joey kasi before, meron din tawag na reasonable accommodation. Hindi ito by force. Sa parang tipo, kan, ano ba, yung mga hindi pa, yung, yung middle of transition, hindi pa nagta-transition, hindi sila comfortable kumamit ng male restroom. Siyempre, you would, you would cause people to be uncomfortable as well if you use the female restroom. Ang reasonable accommodation, they asked to use the um, toilet for the people with disability. Eh kasi hindi naman, hindi naman, hindi naman yung puno madalas, no? So that's, that's, that's a reasonable accommodation um, to do. Saka, hindi lang, to be honest, ha, at meron ako makasabay before na, obviously, they're pre no? And then, edi, gumamit ng toilet. Pagpasok ko ng toilet na ginamita nila ng cubicle, my God, may mga droplets sa, 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 the so, toilet see it. Oh. And you know that they feed standing up. So parang ako naman, iniisip ko, my God, nakapasa pa na nga na walang commotion. Can you please at least have the courtesy to pee seating down? Uh-huh. Dahil ang bakoy, ha? Oo. Ayun. Kasi ang 
ang problem kasi nung iba parang ano eh, they they make it yung paggamit. It's just sharing of space, okay? It's just sharing of space. And if you're going to do it politely, we can share without any commotion or anything. A problema nung iba, they wanted to make a venue to philosophize dun sa kanilang gender identity. Di ba? Hindi, sharing of space lang to. Ano ba? We can accommodate. You just have to ask nicely. Di ba? Ganun lang naman eh. Yes, um, Coach Franco. Hindi kasi, it... Medyo nasagot na lang konti nyo pareho. Pero kasi that is also one of the major questions I wanna ask you both. Diba? So so from the from from your perspective, from Joey's and Sass's perspective, where do we draw the line? I think that's another where do we draw the line? Kasi if we're talking about acceptance and transitioning and then duna dun ng end point nyan eh, sa shared spaces. So where do we draw the line when it comes to shared spaces? Because it will start with the dressing rooms, the bathrooms, and then I'm not sure if you 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 girls probably know this already. There are serious social consequences. Eh? So for example, yung mga yung mga rapists, sexual fel uh, sexual felons, then they all of a sudden lalaki they identify as women, they get sent to women's prisons, then they start raping the women there. Uh, at the same time, recently, there's a 15-year-old uh, boy uh, declared himself as a woman, went to the girl's bathroom, raped a stu female student. So, for me, that's why, yun yung gusto kong itanong, kasi at least it, it's, it's my way of also seeking guidance na how do I deal with these things? Kasi it is going to happen, so what's the proper approach to this? Kasi... Yeah, then that's that's something that that I discuss with, especially yeah, yung mga kaibigan kong babae. Sabi ko, how comfortable are you that that there's a trans person going there, knowing na all you have to do is declare. Kasi kami, ako masadong siguro ng old school. Kasi kami kung yari yung yung team dynamic namin, kaya magsiyari yung mga teammates namin babae or 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 estudyante namin babae. Pag nakita namin parang may as in, as in, may time na talaga lahat kami. Para, oops, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got a dick, go there. <laughs> kami. <laughs> ko, kasi, kasi, yun din yung sinasabi ko. Eh. Right, b before, before this whole thing blew up, uh, or it's starting in the Philippines, sinasabi ko lang yan. Eh. It's a very basic question. What's stopping a, and, and that, one of the moments din yun, sinabing transphobic daw ako, very, ano, sabi ko, I don't give a shit, sabi ko, pero ito yun eh, you answered the question, what's stopping a person to, to pose himself as a trans woman, go to female spaces, and then starts abuse, di ba? Yeah. You can, uh, you, you want to cater to their feelings, but at the same time, you are stepping on the feelings and the rights of actual women, sabi ko, yeah. Yeah. So, 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 from your, so, yeah, at least just Joey and Jesse says, where do you girls draw the line? Where can we well, at least draw the line on well, this? Coach, well, coach, actually, I'm going to give you a concrete example. Um, the United Kingdom is one of the, is actually the first country in the world that had a gender recognition. Pero may, may, mayroon ka dapat mamimit na criteria. Ang problema lang doon, hindi kasama din yung sex reassignment. So, so without sex assignment, you can be legally you know, fair. At least you can have at least two, two years of hormones, etc. Now they have a problem. Okay? It created a problem. And it's a real problem. And people already pointed out it out before. So legally female, legally female na siya, pero meron pa rin dangling something there. And you can always discontinue hormones, no? You can always discontinue hormones. Ngayon, ang naging priest at, at, Good, good thing you mentioned prison because this is a problem in prison. No? A lot of men took advantage of it, self-ID, become legally female, and then you get transferred into the um, women's prison. And of course, you would know the problem it would be, and you cannot challenge it because self-ID is everything. Now, the UK changed its policy. Whether or not, um, um, even if you, have, you are legally female, in your birth certificate, because of gender recognition law, if you haven't gone through sex reassignment surgery, you cannot be in the women's prison. So yun, yun yung policy na nila ngayon. So, and, 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 and that's, I think naman, um, I think people have to be reasonable, including trans people, na parang, 
do you really want to be in the same changing room as another um um as another woman and then your dick is not you know dangling in between there I don't have a gender dysphoria ha you know that's you know that for me ah uh, for me that's I think I couldn't imagine myself doing that pre 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 transition I'm I'm so sorry because I couldn't even get naked in front of my boyfriend <laughs> you know like because I cannot just like and then I'm gonna be naked in public you know and then it it's it's I think it I know but like there must be because there's a way to reasonably accommodate but it must be sensible no yeah. it must it has to make sense <laughs> You're gonna say that yourself IV and then you're gonna use the women's restroom. Ano ka hilo? Di ba na para? Pati na ba? Maybe there is a toilet for disabled people. I think it's required now, di ba? In every establishment to have a a hmm. facility for PWD. For, uh, uh, for PWDs. Maybe you can ask. You know, most often than not, I think they would actually accommodate. Yes. Oh. Correct. Correct. Y- yun nga eh. Uh, ako. F- well. Ano no to summarize yung sinabi ni Sas, if if ano if my position is going to be consulted uh, on this matter yes my general rule is that may tintin ka doon ka sa kabila ganun lang ka simple now now uh, uh, th- that is the general rule but yes i can reasonably accommodate ganun share natin yung space uh Uh, ang, ang ano lang, magkakaroon lang tayo ng problema. Pagpupwersahin mo ako, kamukha mo si Brutus pagkatapos gusto mo mag-CR ka sa, ba diba? Parang, ano yun, lakalak ng muscle mo dyan pagkatapos gusto mo pumasok sa CR ng mga babae. That just because you identified yourself as as a woman, eh, huwag tayo mag-ano doon, huwag tayo mag, mag-gagawan doon. So, yun, ga- ganun lang kasimple. I can reason, hindi naman, hindi naman kami, hindi naman ako evil, ba diba? I can share space. <laughs> Ganon. Pero pag may tintin ka, doon ka. ba? Diba? Hmm. E kung kunwari, may tintin ka, pero bis, babae ka, you present yourself as a woman, and you ask nicely, hindi, sige, tara, dito ka. Pero umupo ka ha, pag iihi ka. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, um, dapat umupo ka naman. Kasi, uh, hello ha, like, just ko, ang hirap-hirap kayo magkipay, no? You have to take care of it. Well, kasi nga, correct. Mamali ka lang na ano, you can you can get infection. infection. Tapos tupo ka sa daming droplets. <laughs> correct, correct. Um, if I can add, no, siguro um, factor din yung um, environment. Like sa sa work namin, na-mention ko na to kay Joey na um, sa work namin, you can choose your CR. So kahit lalaking lalaki ka, if you chose na dun ka sa babaeng CR, dun ka na talaga. Kasi sa work namin, Um, may guard naman. Tapos, parang, you would be questioned, why are you staying in the CR for, this is um, a call center, so, may guard dyan, may ano dyan. Sa amin, yung general rule, just choose one CR. You cannot um, go to male when it's um, convenient, go to female when it is. Tapos naman, yung kawork mo, like, let's say yung team mo, alam na nila na this this is a gay guy so kahit ganito yung mukha niya bakla talaga to so they would he, he would not do anything to us if he chose um female restroom so ang point ko is maybe factor din yung environment kasi yung workplace namin safe talaga yun iihi ka hindi no it would not take you to kasi yung ano eh house in address niya yung security issue eh de ba kaya nga. In address niya in address no yep. sa workplace niya yung security issue. So that that is a problem na ano na na, na resolve na. Fix na. Yep. Pero, pero ang tanong ko, paano yung mga babae na hindi komportable na merong ano, merong Wala na silang magagawa. Yung kwento ni Mami Laika, yung kwento ni Mami Laika. Ito naghaharutan na sila nito ha. Naka nasa loob sila ng isang hotel room ng mga ng mga office mates niya sa isang hotel. So, nagaharutan na sila doon, magdamag na daw sila doon, nagiinuman sila and everything, ganyan-ganyan. So, yung mga kasama niyang babae, nag, nag, nagsipagliguan na, nag, nagpapalit na ng damit and everything. Tapos, merong isa na ayaw pang maligo, tapos ayaw pang magpalit ng damit, ayaw magbihes, ganon. Tapos, parang tinanong ni Mami Laika, bakit tayo magbihes? Sabi niya, ganun. Eh, kasi nahihiya ako. Hindi ako comfortable. Sabi niya, ganun. Ba't ka nahihiya sa akin? Sabi niya, ganun. Eh, syempre, lalaki ka pa rin. So, parang sabi ni Mami Laika, parang Of course, hindi siya nagre-reklamo, hindi siya nagko-complain. Pero fact is, hindi pa rin siya comfortable. 
'di ba? Na merong lalaki doon sa ano. So, paano 'yun? Paano in-address 'yun ng workplace? Yung ganun sa, sa amin, Pero how, um sinabi. Opo. Pero how uh, may tanong sa kon address. Sige, go ahead. Pwede ba ng workplace na dapat nakaupo sila umiiyak? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, okay, may sagot pa ko dyan. So sa amin kasi, sa training pa lang sinabi na yan na you can choose your bathroom but you cannot choose another bathroom because you want to because it's convenient. Tapos, ang sinabi din sa amin para may security, guys, there are security guards all around, may mga janitors dyan. Tapos, you are um, taking ano one cubicle at a time. So, in other words, you, you will not share one ano toilet to- toilet bowl so you will be protected by your cubicle you you'll be protected by the public by the janitor by the security guard so yun so kung tatayo ka or uupo nasa isang cubicle ka lang naman so we would not know eh paano yung ano gagamit na susunod <laughs> <laughs> free yung tissue so <laughs> Tsaka ano, free yung may bidet na automatic. I didn't know it was also a concern for you guys. <laughs> Sa amin lang kasi. Opo. Pero ha, so can, you, so can, like for example, Coach Franco Ruloda use the female restroom and stick to using the female restroom? Um, That's an extreme example, pero yes. Ay, coach, diyan ka na magtrabaho kay. <laughs> Yun nga, di ba? I will identify as a woman, di ba? I may look like this, but uh, deep down inside, I am a woman. Yeah? Pero so, may ano I naman. I shall assign para... myself in the female bathroom. <laughs> Pero baka may ano, parang i-report, parang sa team mo, di ba lalaki ka? Bakit nandito ka? Parang ganun. Hindi, ba? Parang may i-evaluate na. Di ba? Uh, bakit? O yun, di ba? So, sino ngayon? So, so ngayon, ko-questioning ko ngayon yung authority ng tao yun, di ba? Anong, di ba? Gano'n ka-comprehensive ang, ang knowledge mo when it comes to gender dysphoria? And how can you solemnly assess my situation? Di ba? And that's the thing. We're, we're putting more responsibilities to the security guards. We're putting more responsibilities to the janitor. Di ba? When in fact, everything has to be simple. Diba? Sinabi ko na sa inyo, diba? Before, it is our responsibility to do things to integrate to society. Mm. Pag ganyan sa workplace, usually, diba, may gusto mag-transition. So, pupunta ng psychiatrist, ganyan. And then, actually, you you talk to your HR na, ma'am, I'm going through transition. I I, I have been, um I have already my medical diagnosis for gender dysphoria. I'm gonna go this. Tapos, may stages yun na, Okay, um, gusto mo na ba kumamit ng female restroom? Usually sabi nila hindi pa po kasi mukha, <laughs> you know, like, for the obvious reason, no? And then eventually, you know, when the, 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 the HR, which is the, it is the responsibility of the HR, actually provides a process on how to integrate the person. Hindi yung bigla ka na lang magbabak ng policy. <laughs> And regardless of, kung ba si Coach Frank Coronada, sabi niya gagamit siya ng female restroom and then you cannot question it. No? In this climate, you cannot question it. You know, because it's going to be transphobic because self-ID is everything. Right. Um, if we can um, transition to a different question. It will only take one incident. Sorry, go ahead. Your corporate, your, it will only take one incident to drive your your company towards the most extreme conservative side. Na pati yung mga tao na hindi naman dapat maapektuhan, maapek. Apek, so I think the quality... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Pinakita nga ako sa comments eh. Sa FEU daw, meron daw male, female, tsaka all gender na bathroom. Oh, really? At, at FEU, they have me. Oh, talaga. Lapas. Ayun. Anyway, if we, if we may um, go to, to a different topic, ba? what do you say about um, transgender w- woman joining to um, female contact sport? Yung Ay, competition then, so lang, talaga. Ako, pagkating niya, sa wheelhouse ko yan, bro. Any type of sport, sasabihin mo lang sa kanila, there has never been a trans man 
that competed in men's sport that actually won. There has yet to be one. <laughs> Danda mo, wala, wala pang wala pang wala pang wala pang nangyayaring ganun. Okay, so ang nangyayari ngayon is there are a lot of of of, of trans women that are like these are biological males, ah. these are biological males competing in an all female sport. And ang nakakainis kasi doon is you are trumping over female spaces. And at the same time, you are discrediting the hard work that actual or biological females are doing. Kaya, kaya dito sa, lalo na dito sa, sa Pilipinas, when it comes to that, when, when I, kasi I also, I'm a technical committee guy for, preview, for different combat sports tournaments. So whenever we talk to the Games and Amusements Board, wala, dun pa rin talaga, ang ano pa rin, ang divisions pa rin talaga natin, male, female. There has yung yung transitioning talaga wala eh kasi siguro I'm really banking on common sense ng mga tao and yun nga yung conservative aspect ng Philippine culture na it's not gonna happen uh, ako lalo lalo na sa sa combat sports dito sa atin yep. sa Pilipinas it's Fantastic. not gonna happen yep. Well, uh, it's not gonna Coach, happen. would you rather have know. them um, would you rather create a different bracket for them the problem is there's very little of them. You can't create their own brackets kasi nga konti lang sila. Kaya nga sinasabi ko, di ba? If you if, when people start really looking into this, konti lang talaga sila. <laughs> They're just a very loud minority. Di ba? Usually pa, minority. usually pa. Ay, sorry. I Go, 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 go. Usually pa, ito pang mga may ingay na ito. Ito pa yung mga nag-train as men for a long time and then and suddenly then, trans because they are failed men in their in, yeah that's true their they're, they're failed men in their, in their sport in their, uh, their transition actually, they don't even transition huh? it's no longer yeah, yeah, required they don't, they don't. oh they it's just no don't identify required. they just identify and then they compete mm. and then they win of course you will win kaya mm. parang inaano ko na parang ako talaga ako like you know, it's a, well, hindi ko naman talaga naisip pag contact sports. No? Ang sports pa lang, billiard, uh, art and chess, you know. <laughs> hindi na ako nagko-contact sports because I don't want to, you know. Baliyakan dyan eh. So, hindi, <laughs> <laughs> sa jiu-jitsu, yakapan lang. Oo, maraming yakapan sa jiu-jitsu. Maraming yakapan. So, ganyan na yung mukha so, ako talaga, if, if I'm gonna talk to like someone who's gonna compete in a trans woman who's gonna compete, I'm just gonna tell them that, you know what, you know what? these biological females, their training is different from men. Mm-hmm. Actually, they're at a disadvantage because they cannot train continuously. If they get a period, their training, hindi yan magtutuloy-tuloy. No, it will get, mm-hmm. get affected even the, 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 their training. And then here you are, just because you took hormones for one year and then you thought that you have already equivalent experience i think the man no pretty common sense dictate that you don't so just don't oh, i, I want to share something See, i don't know if you know Re- renee richards so renee, renee richards was a tennis player so nag compete siya before ano pa to, 80s i think late 70s early 80s um she competed before men's division in tennis and then she transitioned, so she competed in the women's division. And then I think a few years ago, she was like reflecting. Sabi niya, naging issue yun eh, tapos nanalo siya dun sa, nanalo siya dun sa case. Sabi niya, reflecting back, sabi niya, um, she thought that the decision was not correct. Mm-hmm. And then she already realized that she actually had an advantage, a, 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 a due advantage when she competed. At post of Toha, <laughs> so, para ina ano pa na para ano ba na para pa ka unti na alam kayo at tapos kayo pa yung ang 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 iingay and at the same time they they want the entire community to be behind them. If you're not behind them, you're gonna be considered have you're gonna be considered to have internalized transphobia if you're trans or you're transphobic. When in fact, it just all boils down to common sense. And actually, itong nangyayari ngayon tong ganitong pag-insist nila, it's actually 
you know, driving the, the, the situation more to the conservative side to everyone's detriment. Can you imagine? You're just only one person there and then you're affecting an entire community, generation, mm. etc. So I really think that, you know what? If, if, just don't think about it. Pursue other things that, you know, not every lane has to be open to you. You know, not every lane is even open to Coach Franco Ruloda, even though that is part of the patriarchy. You know? <laughs> Alam mo, uh, ano ka na niyan? Homophobic ka na niyan. Yung, yung opinion mo, homophobic na yan. Lahat, lahat ng phobic. <laughs> lahat ng phobic. Oh. Ang ano kasi is, uh, what do you call this? So anyway, ang ano kasi is, uh, when it comes to sports, ah, when it especially when it comes to any athletic endeavor, sakto yan. Dapat may message ko si Tito Joe, si Tita Joey last year. Merong merak merak tanong sa 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 comment section, kasi nagot ko sa comment section. Sabi ko male division, male division, female division, female division, females, female division. Parang may tatlong account na na trans accounts dito sa TikTok. Tin, in ano, ginawang naggawa sila ng video about my comment na yun. Yung, yung screenshot na comment reply video. I was like So so dun may, may, may time noon last year. Ang dami sa comment section ko noon. Parang ano transphobic daw ako, cancel daw ako. Sabi ko uh, uno sa lahat kasi yung, yung <laughs> kasi nag 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 ano eh, pumasok yun sa isang live ko noon sabi ko una sa lahat matabaka sabi ko una sa lahat hindi ko makakain <laughs> sabi ko kaya siguro galit ka <laughs> kasi hindi ka makakatakbo ng 100 meter dash okay sabi ko body shaming so na yan coach ha? body shaming body shaming na body shaming. yan body shaming oh I'm a proponent oh, of fat shaming oh Ano, oh. Ang dami mo ng label. Ang dami ko talaga ng label. Ang ano dyan kasi is, ako, I'm doing, uh, ako ah, as, as on my lane, on my community, in my niche, I'm going to protect women's rights. Kasi, division nila yan. Eh. Are, hindi lang Leah Thomas eh. There are so many, uh, there are so many sports in the United States, uh, in Australia, na, na, Kaya rin yung mga, yung mga black belts doon, pag nag-uusap-usap kami, nagkakamustahan kami, o kayo, nag, nag, meron na bang nagsisimula dyan sa inyo? Sabi ko, ay, salamat sa Diyos, wala pa naman. Pero pag meron, sabi ko, ako definitely hindi ako a-agree dyan. Kasi, for example, this is this is this happened sa, sa, sa Amerika. So, may track guy, uh, track na, na lalaki, identified as a woman, starts beating female athletes. They started, he, he, he started breaking records. Yung, yung podium finish na nakikita ng tao, hindi nila nakita yung backstory of the other female athletes whose lives and careers were destroyed. As in, they couldn't get college scholarships, they couldn't get college grants, they couldn't get their allowances simply because they didn't place. And at the same time, the lead, nung, 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 yung lead time at yung distance na accumulation nung nag-transition, sobrang layo sa kanila. It practically destroyed their career to a point where in they were all, I mean, yung kahit yung in-interview, sinabi niya, why am I even here? Why am I still doing this? Mm-hmm. ba? And that's the problem. And if we're going back to the Leah Thomas case, the school itself and the coaches were were shutting down the other female swimmers' feelings. That's parang, no, diba? You, you can't talk about this. If you talk about this, we will, they will brand you as transphobic. It will be the end of your career. Diba? All... All for what, diba? Just to cater to people's feelings. Yun yung medyo... That's why this is a very... Nihalagay mo po ba to Joey sa YouTube mo? Ah, uh, lalagay ko talaga. Ayun, lagay mo. Kasi this is a very timely topic, especially for the Philippines. Kasi sooner or later, this will happen. It starts with the bathrooms. It starts with the... Starts with the bathrooms, the dressing rooms. Diba nga yung naging... Yung, yung idiot na nagdrama-drama pa, na pina... Na yung fitting room sa BGC. Nalimutan ko kung ano yun eh. Naging ano yun eh. Parang trans daw siya. Again. So sabi ko, feeling ko, feeling ko, feeling ko may, feeling ko may dingdong ka pa rin eh. So, <laughs> tapos nagre-reklamo ka na nilagay ka sa, sa, sa males changing room. Tapos iiyak-iyak ka dyan. Sabi ko, and it's about to So at least this is a very good discussion. Especially from, you have the female point of view, you have the trans point of view. And ako, I, I, I learned a lot. Especially, 
when it comes to drawing the line. Kasi ako, that, that's the part na, na I want to, to understand. Oh, kasi ako, I want to understand every. Ah, ako, sinasabi ko rin naman sa mga tao eh. Uh, you can be whoever you want to be. You, know, you can be whoever you want to be. You can identify whoever you You can identify as an eggplant for all I care. Sabi ko. Pero the moment you start getting into personal spaces that will affect other people, I think that's where the problem will be. Yeah. yeah. Diba? Saka, diba? saka coach, and, just to give you a ano, um, scientific um, background, nag-equalize yung strength, muscle strength and bone density. Pero it takes at least 15 years. Oh, oh. At I had a heated years. debate with that. Ano ba? At, at, at least 15, 15 years. Time. And it, it, so you have to wait. No, if you would like to compete, you have to wait 15 years. Pero hindi oh, yung, oh. So after 2 years, even the the bone density ganon mag magbabago oh, oh, sobrang layo ng bone density years. Years. muscle recovery years. performance it will, wala it will layo. ano eh kasi 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 the bone would um would would be affected pero it takes 15 years it takes 15 years of continuous hormone therapy ah. of course it will be faster if you're post op no pero it pero the, the standard is at least 15 years Kaya hindi kaya kaya nung nasabi yung dieto mas nila ko ilang ilang years kasi hindi ko pa hindi ko pa familiar na before eh kasi according ko, to uh sport sanctioning bodies especially sa America you have to go through the protocol they call it the protocol so when you when you declare yourself as a woman or you identify yourself as a woman you just have to go through one year of hormone therapy so that's basically uh, merong, merong testosterone level kasi for competitive sports, may testosterone level si male, si female. But so ngayon, the, the, the moment you go to that level ng females, pwede, pasok ka na, pasok ka na doon. So you're allowed. But, but Yun yung ginawa ni Ilya. Oh, but, that's, oh, but, that's, Pero, but that's really wrong, yung ginawa nilang mm, policy ganyan. ganyan. Kasi, yun lang, yun lang. Yun, kasi kailan ba tinitest yung testosterone level? Ilang days before the sports? Hindi, ang ano nila is you go through hormone therapy for a year and then they test your they test your testosterone. Nge, so, eh, Leah Thomas can, can just uh, stop. Uh, Leah oh, Thomas oh, can oh, just uh, stop estrogen and then everything would go back, no? Hello? Every oh, trans person okay. knows that. Sila ako naman sila. Exactly. Chad, <laughs> so, so, Leah Thomas can test bone density? Oh, you can test can bone density. Can we test bone density? Lahat yan. Lahat yan matatest. Ano yung house? Yung bone density yeah, ra mo matetest ba yung bone density oh, tsaka muscle. Yeah, so, mm. Actually it it, it gets tested my bone test but actually when I go through part of my the medical process is everything get gets tested including your bone test density and muscle mass etc. Ako nga per my my ter by um endocrinologist got so scared with me then kasi my bone density was really really weak already. Kaya sabi nila wala akong problema ko lang. Sabi ko I can still run, I can still go to the gym, I can still whatever kasi nga talaga makikita mo talaga yung 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 bone density and there's clearly a difference no i think i think these people are just like becoming too ideological you know there is actual biological um basis for bone density for 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 muscle mass for 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 muscle strength etc and this is actually sexually dimor ano dimorphic so mm. Kaya, kaya, kaya nakakaloka eh. You know, you know what? That before, do you remember yung mga films that promoting like that women, um, women can do what men, uh, what, uh, what, that girls can do what boys do? Men, Ang ginagawa uh, ng mga films, nagkukumpit yung girls with boys, di ba, sa soccer or what, whatever, uh, may mga ganyang film, di ba? Kasi the, 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 the ano nun, ang purpose nun is to make it appear na, na, Kasi nga, they're, they're battling yung notion that the girls are weak or what. So they compete with boys and then they beat boys out of their game. Mm-hmm. Now, ang nangyayari ngayon, it's the reverse, no? Like, you have a, a clearly biological male who have not really... I cannot say that my girl experience are the same because it's clearly not. And then defeating girls who are actually, you know, dreaming actually of winning mm-hmm. in this sport and then training in this sport for a very, very long time. I think that's just very unfair. That's why I do not align with with, with Leah Thomas. Must be believed pa ang mga tao if Leah Thomas competed in the male division oh. and actually won. Oh, like, do you remember you? 
<laughs> Leah Thomas was like 200 sa division niya. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so medyo, sabi niya, let me, let me be a woman. <laughs> Hindi, uh, coach. My weight division. I'm gonna coach, change my gender now. <laughs> do you remember yung ano, yung yung sa Thai kickboxer? Yung trans oh, woman at like Oh, boxer. si the yeah. beautiful boxer. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. She competed in the male division. You know? Oh, yeah. She competed in the post male division. Off, as post off, and then she beat it all of them. And then that gained respect from everyone. And then even women look up to her because like, Oh my mm. God! You, they were like cheering her, like beat that guy, mm. you know. And then the men were like, "I cannot be beaten by a woman." And then she, and then he was beaten. <laughs> and then he was beaten by no. Ano, yung kay beautiful ano, sa kay beautiful ano boxer yung yung oh, tayo. Oh, the beautiful boxer. Oh, the yung beautiful boxer. Niya. At the end of the day, your story is nirespeto ka, uh, nirespeto ka na mga tao na sa paligid sa you because of your hard work. The gender has a very little play in there. Exactly. Diba? Exactly. Exactly. Okay, tapos itong mga rainbow, rainbow mafia na to, na parang feeling nila, that's the end all and be all of your beingness. Na kapag tinanggap mo ako bilang, bilang sa gender na preferred ko, that's the end all and be all of my humanity. Diba? Of course not. Diba? Kasi, kasi look at Dina Thomas, ha? she never even trained as a trans woman. She never trained with... Um, transition lang siya. Oh, she didn't even train with decreased testosterone in her body. She didn't mm. even train, you know, she didn't even train with a vagina, for, for God's sake. Oh. You know? <laughs> Meron, may penis pa rin siya. Meron pa rin siyang, uh, ano. Saka, coach, correct me if I'm wrong, ha? The training that we actually undergo, they actually registered us in our muscle memory. No, mm. that in, in everything, no, you, imagine you train as male, you cannot erase that memory in your muscle. Like, oh, alam mo yun, yun yung nakakatakot kasi it starts with one account, then it became three accounts, and then there I have apparently have, I know, my followers pala ako sa Instagram ng mga trans din. One, there was actually one that was trying to be, trying to be smart about it. So ngayon, tinanong ko siya, sabi ko, sige, may, may konting oras ako ngayon. Sabi ko, so for example, si Lebron James. Sabi ko, if Lebron James decides that he is a woman, is he allowed to compete in the WNBA? Anak ka ng wedding, nagyabang pa ng educational attainment niya tong, tong follower ko na to. Tapos sabi niya, if he undergoes the hormone protocol, sabi ko, tumigil ka dyan. Alam ko yung hormone protocol sa tatawag mo. He, he, can be, he can play in the WNDK. Sabi ko, wala na. Tapos na usapan. You are officially tanga. Sabi ko, <laughs> itigil na natin na usapan na to. So, hindi, ang problema ang kasi is... Na, coach, um, may tagline ako dun. If you ano? can't change, if you can't lose your weight, change your gender. <laughs> oh, oh, hindi, ang problema kasi, it poses a problem wherein siguro yung mga athletes, lalo na dito, I'm always gonna apply this to the to Philippine setting. If people are slowly accepting that bullshit, the sooner or later, merong mangyayaring ganito. Yun ang problema. Yun yung medyo sabi ko, sana naman wag mangyari sa Pilipinas. Pero, di ba, kung meron ng mga tao dito sa bansa natin na nagsisimulang mag- mag-isip ng ganon, di ba, and then there's a serious political backing behind it, di ba, there's a huge political propaganda behind it, then what's, di ba, lalo, ako sabi ko naman, I could be wrong din naman, lalo naman mo, ang, Pil- ang Pilipinas, ano yan eh, gaya-gaya tayo sa Amerika eh, kung anong ginagawa ng mga kano, di ba, gagayahin natin dito, di ba, kasi gusto natin maging Amerika, pero, yun nga eh, that, that, they, people don't see the potential danger or harm it has to society. So, yun yung, yun yung, yun yung medyo iniisip ko na, and, and, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, bababa na lang content after this, Tito Joey, kasi naglulobat na ako. Pero, um, final, ano, like, this is, this is, a, this is a statement from an old man. This is an old man. I was having a conversation with a very old man. Martial arts practitioner din. Sabi niya, alam mo, sabi niya, alam mo, Franco, this whole thing, itong nangyayari sa Amerika, kasi from the state siya then retired here in the Philippines, sabi niya, you know what? 
and, and that statement kind of stuck with me. Sabi ko, una sabi first is, where are all the feminists in all of this? Sabi where are all, why are they all shutting up? Diba? And then the second statement was, you know what? It only, it's gonna take war, a global catastrophe, or famine, sabi, or anything na, na, na sobrang drastic that everybody will go back to their natural gender roles. And you will see that this is all bullshit. So, parang nung sinabi niyo yun, sabi, matutang, ang galing nito. Sabi ko, mahusa ito, mahusa ito, matandang ito. Hindi <laughs> kasi totoo eh, di ba? Di ba? If, if, if there's war, do you, do you, do you go like, di ba, I'm trans. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit, di ba? <laughs> di ba? Yung, 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 no, that's the be- one of the best memes I saw last year was that during the Titanic was sinking and then there was a guy say I'm trans. So at least last question ko before I go down. Uh yeah, to, to Sas and Joey, how do you see this entire if if this goes extreme, how will this affect yung yung kinagisnan natin? Especially we we're from a different generation. Diba? How 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 will this now, now I'm starting to be scared for future generations because it's going to be a lot it's going to be more confusing for them I, I think yung pushback kasi mas malakas dito sa Pilipinas eh um, compare sa US mainly because we have a better sense of community kumpara sa mga Amerikano. So that is something, like what you said earlier, umaasa ka dun sa pagiging conservative ng Pilipinas in order in order to ano, beat this stupidity, no? And mm-hmm. ako, I really feel that, ano, no? I really feel that um, uh, mas malakas yung pushback natin dito. Hindi guarantee that it's not gonna happen, but if we're going to allow these noisy minority to brainwash our children or to you know um assert their ano stupidity to the psyche of the of our society doon tayo matatalo pero if if the, the pushback is very strong so i think we just need to keep on pushing back kasi ano eh i'm pretty sure di sila titigil <laughs> I'm pretty sure di sila titigil. So, yun. Ako, uh, pushback committee ako eh. Ako, aminado ako, pushback committee ako eh. I know that. Ako, so, ako sinasabi ko talaga, toxic masculinity, extreme misogyny. Ako, ako that's me. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> hindi ko nakita yung ano. Hindi ko na, hindi ko na ano yun. Hindi ko nakita yung pang-attack sa'yo ng mga... Wala, last year yun. Parang sabi ko, sabi ko, tas tinag lang ako ng mga tao. Sabi, ano masasabi mo dito, coach? Sabi ko, uh, nag-comment ako. Sabi ko, uh, comment ko lang dito, tanga siya. Sabi, <laughs> sabi, sabi ni David. Ako naman, sasagutin ko muna ito sin- yung sinasabi ni David Cashon. That is why gusto ko magkaroon ng trans in UAAP or NCAA. Sinabi na nga namin, it's very few. You know what? Saka... That is actually the wrong approach. Why? Sinabi na namin sa Beauty Bill Boxer, why ca- you would have even gotten respect for a lot of people if you com- if you competed in the division according to your biological sex and then actually win. Kasi nga, people will actually see that this is about hard work and not about your gender or or, or, or mm. whatever. Ngayon, um, regarding dun sa, sa, sa pushback, Sa, sa situation. I think um, number one, um, I'm really wondering why. Why I, I I think a lot of a lot of them might just have internalized homophobia that they think that they need to transition in order to be to be to get a man. You know, like like something like that. I think people. I think a lot of people already accept that being gay is okay. You know, like like a, a, a guy having a relationship with another guy is actually okay. You know, that's, that's actually gaining more acceptance in in society. And and that if that is just your reason for you to transition, maybe you're just gay. And actually, being gay is accepted. No, you don't need you don't need to to, to go through all these processes. Nobody cares. I think every barcada in society has a gay guy 
who brings his boyfriend to, to their gatherings, and that's okay. <laughs> you know, I think. And that's okay, give a coach. <laughs> oh! Ako pag tinatanong ako, they have gay students. Sabi ko, yeah, I have gay students. Sabi ko, I don't, sabi ko walang judgment <laughs> doon. And then, and then, and then, second, na, kasi wala naman problema eh. Before, when, 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 when these activists don't, uh, didn't start in, including kids in, one, didn't start including kids. Second, when they didn't start, doing all these ideological, ideologically based um, assertion when it comes to sports, you know, mm. it's already gaining acceptance. Like people are already becoming compassionate and then suddenly people are now angry, you know, because they could really just see the unfairness of it all. I think, I think if you just step back from, from the pamphlets that they are being distributed and actually look at it objectively, you would see that there is something not fair. And I'm, I'm saying it uh, as a long-time trans activist who actually won a award for my advocacy. And, and um, kaya nga, you know, I, I don't care. If, I'm pretty sure some of them would love that that award would be removed, but I do not care. You know, I didn't become an activist in order to win an award. It is actually to make people open their hearts. And we cannot open people's hearts when we are actually already going beyond what is reasonable and what is commonsensical. Um, you know, I have I have lived in Europe in a very conservative city for for most of my stay in the Netherlands. The parents of my boyfriend then was were conservative. Like they both the they both the right wing party in the Netherlands. We didn't have any problem with them because it's not it's again you cannot force acceptance and again you have to remember not every lane is for you it is not even it is not even uh, not all lanes are even available for anyone trans gay lesbian gay, gay bisexual or not no i think you just have to accept it if one lane is not open for you fine there are millions of lanes available for you in order to actually prove yourself one you know, being being not allowed in one lane, it's not gonna end. It's not the end of the world <laughs> because there are okay. other lanes available for you. Just have to find them. Oh, no, no, no. I take pride in, in like, for example, um, out competing my classmates in an exclusive boys for school. You know, they think because that's that's the, that's the thing. I you know you're you are lalampa lampa or whatever. I'm gonna na then I beat them in their own game. You know, I don't need to go somewhere else in order to prove my word. You know, you can always prove your word wherever you are. And you don't need to, you don't need to transition into another game, pun intended. Mm. <laughs> Since I have yeah. another question. Um, how popular is your opinions among your community? I don't know because I'm no longer connected to them, but I already seeing some of them, a lot of them on, on TikTok and then giving and TikTok, ha, it's uh, accessible to even 13 years old. Uh, TikTok, TikTok, yung data na nakita ko was that 60% of TikTok users are 21 years old pababa. Oh gosh. 60% of TikTok users. Oo, may mga, may mga nakikita na ako mga, ay, dangerous na to, ha. Alam mo yun, na parang, kaya nga, I think, you know, the adult members of, the, of, of advocacy, those who have been here for even before this, I don't know, um, self-entitled rats came in. I think we are more reasonable. We are more sensible. And, and now it, it, I think there is no significant pushback as well, coach, from women's and feminist groups in the Philippines. Yeah. I know, possess us. Diba? Kailangan yan. A- ako talaga feeling ko kailangan yan. Anyway, bago makabalik si, ano, si Sas, Tita Joey, I love you. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank, thank you for thank having you me. Coach. Meron akong rules meeting kasi. Okay. <laughs> rules meeting ako. Yes, yes. Sige. Actually, mag end live rin na rin ako in a while, no? Kasi alas ko. Oh, pero Tita Joey, as always, you are the best at doing this. Doing really good discussions. Uh, hopefully, ma-chempuan kita uli. Pasabi na lang kay Sas. Yes, Pasabi yes, na lang kay Sas, big fan ako. 
ever since. House of Senator, bye-bye. Okay, Thanks, okay. Coach. Thank you. Okay, makakabalik pa kaya si Sas. Feeling ko din siya makakabalik, pero bago siya pumalik, mag-end live na tayo. Kasi pag bumalik, <laughs> nakabutin tayo ng alas. Ayan. Okay, okay. Anyway, thank But you guys. Thanks for this discussion, yeah. Joey. Yeah, Such a great... Sa, ano, I, I really like this evening. So, papost ko to sa Facebook at saka sa YouTube. See you, Bye. everyone. Thanks. Bye. Good evening. Thanks, Joey.